I got mine. I got her mine. Granny got her. I got her mine. And I love me some water. water. Wow. Yes, I love me some water. water. The port. Yes, I love me some water. water. Wow. Hope you got your suit. Yes, Granny love me some water. water. Hope you got your suit. Granny needs some water. water. Hope you got your suit. I resemble the bitch your man ace ass. You're mad at me because I pass gas in his mouth. I got the clout, bitch. Plastic bad bitch, you still a <laughs> Hello, my name is Mary Beth, and I'm looking for someone that loves the Lord like me. I love the Lord, so the man I, who matches with me, he, you have to love the Lord. And another thing also, you have to love nature. I love being outside in nature and I love Lord. I pray in the morning, I pray. Stop it, get some help. to the rule listen baby you hear me don't you love when I come around what do you say build you up then I'll take you down Walk behind, you see I'm taking a picture off that head I don't care about you. Security guard. You told that whooped out here on guy. Fake police. Rent a cop. <laughs> Gonna walk in front of my pitch. Thank you to my man. Hey y'all. So I made y'all know I got got a video. I got homemade mac and cheese. I did some lasagna. Look at that. I did us some baked wings. Um what barbecue wings and veggies.
My husband been in the kitchen the whole time. Gonna get out the kitchen. Ready? Mm, mm, mm. Take my nephew. Mm. What I say, Put my foot in back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to put my foot in back. Mm, 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 mm. And it's going down. On my face. We moving around, baby. We moving, baby. We moving. Yeah, we moving. If your girl ain't doing this shit like this for your goddamn birthday, get you a new motherfucking girl. Auntie said that, y'all. Boy, what the f So there you go. The new rules in effect now. We living life over here, baby. I'm in Canada. Baby, I'm in Canada right now. On the other side of the world. <laughs> You're intoxicating my life. Feel like a conversation, no lush. Cause I don't know how much is too much. Yeah. Here. Let me get a refill. Back in your cells. Who cooking fish? Let's do it all day long. I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music. <laughs> We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. Mm -hmm. 
It's time! Let's get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live, single by choices. Brought to you by Cart Before the Horse Productions. We in the building. It's Thursday night, Mr. Walker. How you feeling, brother? I am feeling fan freaking tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, nug nugs and bonquishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't no fun once the rabbits got the gun. Entertainment, what's going on with you this fine Thursday? Oh my! We in the building, Mister Walker. We about to cook tonight. We moving, (laughs) brother. All right. So here we go. Let's get it started. First thing first, we on the surge to uh, five thousand subscribers. Come on, man. Where we at? Let's check. Let me check before we do it, before we go any further. <laughs> I believe, let me check. We should be there. If not, it would be a wonderful thing to be the number 5,000. Here we go. We at 5K, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Me, name of Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> oh, my. There we go. 5K, <laughs> Mr. Walker. 5K in the house. Watch your mother loving my. It's just the beginning, my baby. Let's keep it rolling. So there we go, man. <laughs> so here we go. 5,000 subscribers. All right. It's only one way to, um, I guess, to talk or start that off right now is we are going to go ahead and gift five memberships. <laughs> All right. So if you ain't here right now, you're missing out. I know a lot of people (laughs) ain't in the building right now. It's unfortunate. All right. But here we go. We're going to gift out five memberships for the 5,000 subscribers. Here we go. There we go. Who who shall it be? (laughs) Got to be here to win, baby. 5K. Here we go. We moving, man. We got motion. Let's get it. There we go. The gifts have went out. Sure, here they come. They rolling mm-hmm. in. Okay. So here we go. Shout out to what's a king to a god, my guy. Shout yes. out to Divine Photos. Shout out to Adrian Robertson. Shout out to the CEO of Pound Town, my guy yeah. Chubby. <laughs> yeah, hey. and l- last but not least, shout out to Sir Roast a Lot. All right. Y'all all been gifted a membership. There we go. Some familiar names. Can't beat it. There we go. So, yeah, that's that's cool. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. If y'all just coming in, all right. This channel, what, at five? Other one heading towards 13. Make sure you are subscribed to the Cart Before the Horse channel. All right, we're going we gonna to get all this out the way up front. I'm going to drop the link in the chat. Go over and subscribe to the Cart Before the Horse channel. We moving. We moving, G Honda. There we go. Got Here we go, got sir. The, roast a lot. We got the the CEO. What's going on with you, man? You see uh-huh. what it is. We moving, man. Can we do this Saturday? We got. We suppose this Saturday we supposed to have Mister Mister O O Mine himself in the building. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my. So yeah, make sure y'all here this Saturday at the Regal Rumble. Make sure you subscribe to the Cart Before the Horse channel. The link's in the chat. Click the link. Go over there right now. It ain't going to take you away from the stream. You know how YouTube works. It's going to keep you here. Go Uh over there and subscribe. And check out the content over there on that page. We appreciate it. 5K, baby. Yeah, 5K. That's a wonderful thing. It's only the beginning. Hopefully, y'all here one day, we can get 100K on both channels. All right? Woohoo! We really gonna be some bougie Negroes then. Just you mm-hmm. wait. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get into it tonight. 
first thing first, shout out to my guy G Honda. He come through. He says, Glaze City Flavors stock <laughs> is soaring like eagle. Here we go. Hold on. Bruh. Listen. Hold on, Mr. Walker. We got to have a talk with G Honda. Uh, uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news, people. G Honda, I know you wrong. I know y'all heard about the, the sexy red X-rated tape that just was leaked. No. Yeah, there we go. Sexy red got a tape on the market right now. From what we hearing, somebody has broken into Glaze City, stolen some of G Honda's precious footage, and released it to the public. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! G Honda and Sexy Red, people. That's who that is, if y'all wondering. Shout out to G Honda. They got you. That, that's why stock the stock is soaring like eagles, because G Honda... Oh, my God. G Honda, you didn't, you didn't pull one of the oldest, one of the oldest modern publicity stunts there is, and, 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 and leaked... <laughs> A sex tape with this oh. with the sexiest ratchetest of reds. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to G Honda. Stock is soaring, brother. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe we can get you sexy red up here on the platform. All right. Y'all can talk about, tell us, you know. I don't know. Oh, it said Shante said, I heard about it. I heard it wasn't given. What is it supposed to be given? Well, I gotta do my research. What is it supposed to be given? <laughs> Yeah. I, oh man okay all right here we go happy thursday so shout out to g honda all right my guy uh sir roast says yes i don't use condoms baby right. i'm the raw dog queen g honda, g honda knows best shout out to okay. my guy man that's impressive i'm impressed right. what a development okay hey glaze city is up all right all right i gotta get i gotta uh update my portfolio What's for sale in Glade City, huh? What can I buy? <laughs> Shout out to G Honda. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> Salute, brother. All right, hopefully she paid you something. Hopefully you got some bread out of this, brother. You know? So Man. here we go. Before we move forward, we got a cash app coming in. Shout out to my guy, Joker Nutty Nate. Joker just came through, blessed us with a $20 cash app. So he is the show sponsor right now. We appreciate you, Joker. Money, money, money. My money, God. Money, money, money. Yes. Thank you. So uh, uh you got me thrown off with this development. My man Don Jeter said it is giving dryness and giving beef broths too. Okay. Yeah. okay. Boom, I, see, uh, see what see what I'm saying? Here we go. She gonna hang her hat. On being the the raw diggity queen, you know everybody. The cooter cat is supposed to be so good. It's so good. My 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 cooter cat clear. Yours green. All that. And now y'all saying it's giving dryness. <laughs> hey, this is this is wild ish, man. Yeah, yeah. So sexy red. The tape dropped today. And nope, they like who is the guy? G Honda people. Shout out. <laughs> Big dog. All right. So Hi, CEO. <laughs> CEO. So we got some more super chats. We're gonna get the show started. Shout out to Richai Media. Says just passing the plate. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you. G Honda Double Back says passenger princess. Uh starting what do you say? Starting of the Willy Hood. Starting at Willy Hood. <laughs> we're talking about. And my guy, PC76. How you been, brother? What's going on with you, man? Say shout out to the big diamond. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? He said, let's get cooking. We about to cook tonight. We got a hell of a show lined up. I got to catch and, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and G, how to double back? Lay City now <laughs> sponsored by Fabuloso for 304. <laughs> how you get that Fabuloso deal? See that? See that? Sexy Red work is working. He getting Stock deals. Stock is up. He Stock moving. is up. What's up? Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, so here we go. We're going to get this show started. I see y'all in the chat. Let me Holy check. Uh, 
It's amazing. I haven't really laid eyes on it. If y'all got it, drop the link in the chat. All right. So what is this? <laughs> uh, I, I got to catch up. I'm lost. That was that was a bombshell for, for my little uh, old fashioned mind. My goodness. I guess I'm true. What, what do you expect? This this is this is ratchet raid. Ugh. See what I'm saying? It's all on the internet now. Mm -mm. I won't do. I will not do that research. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, before we do, we got another cash app come in. Oh boy. Yeah, get that money. Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> And it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? There we go. Shout out to Danny Nicole. She came through, blessed us with a fitty ball. I hate. Thank you, thank you, Danny. Said congratulations on the five thousand subscribers, and she just overthrew my guy Joe Cornetti Nate as the show sponsor. We appreciate you, Danny. That's big energy right there. Danny always coming through the support. Appreciate you, Danny. Yes, sir. So getting it started. All right. Danny Nicole, definitely the show sponsor. So if you're just coming in, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. We just got over 5K. Join the membership. We gifted five. Shout out to the five new members. Also, we have some other members. There we go. Shout out to all the people that jumped the broom lately. If you don't know, there is two tiers to the uh, member system. You know, there's the bottom tier. That's like 10 cents a day. And then there's the top tier. That's like, uh, it's a couple more dollars. And shout out to my guy, Joker the Don. All right. Shout yes. out to Desi Boy. Shout out Joker, Nutty Nate. All right. What'd he and say? Also, <laughs> yes. And the latest guy just signed up second ago for the show, Sean uh, Braxton. Shout out to my guy, Sean Braxton. Thank you. So they just jumped the broom. They got the top tier membership. So we got to do something special for y'all. Uh, that was big energy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate them jump the broom memberships. Like Gav said, we got two tiers. That first tier, that little 10 cents a day, boy, that's what we get just to, you know, get y'all introduced. But, you know, eventually everybody wants to show much love and support and graduate up to the Jump in the Broom membership. So you like that? Yes. So don't hesitate to upgrade your membership at any time. Also, we got another cash app come through from my guy Mick. Mick said, oh, my. Moving, baby. We moving. Yeah, oh my. He said, oh man, we moving. Appreciate the cash app, brother. Indeed. So, here we go. We got a bunch of food for the grill. Don't hesitate to hit the super chat, hit the cash app, and don't forget to hit the like button. Where we at? We missing a few, but we're going to get y'all a second. We're going to get into the show. Here we go. The struggle continues with the likes. Hit the like button on your way in. Take the time. It won't take you away from the stream. We ain't going nowhere. We here. Like a bad hair day. <laughs> they like that. So here we go. These first couple, right? I was catching Kendra. And there was like some legendary scenes coming up. And mm. they both got to end it abruptly. But I figure they were worth. We'll tie them both in it in the early part of the show here. Because oh, it, what it was trending towards was legend status. And like the phone, they, you know, I don't know if they hung up or what. but. So here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Here we go. Can you see me? I can see you, but you're too close. Back up. I can't see myself. You're too close, Ma. <laughs> bring your bring your head up. Like, like you want you you're you're too low. Come up. Uh, opposite. So go down. And maybe I'm saying down for you. Go down. Go down more. Down more. Down more. Keep going. Down a little bit more. Okay, right there. What's your name? My name is Zayda. Zayda. How you say it, baby? Zayda. Zayda. Yes. Zayda, where you call me from? Mobile. Mobile, Alabama? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, how old are you, honey? 37. 37. You have any children? Yes, I have five. Okay, how old are your five kids? What? Oh, 16, 12, 9, 8, and 1, 2. All by the same man? No, two different baby dads. Why are you not with the man you had a baby with two years ago? It's a long story. Um, he's in jail now. Um, he had tried to burn my house up. So. Oh my God! There we go. It really ain't a long story. This man came into this house, this very house where you got that bed sheet hung over the window back there. This house. He tried to burn this house down, Mister Walker. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Um, which what is that? Yeah, is that a blanket. They yeah, um, that's that's a fitted. She got a fitted sheet over her over her uh dollar store curtain rods. That's Ooh. a fitted sheet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Like a Ooh. Listen, listen, Flint for life. Yeah, we got a five piece spicy boy. Boy, it's about to be real spicy by the time the baby daddy got done with whoever, whoever he was, because he was trying to set it ablaze. But back to these curtains or the curtain situation. Because you got to be a special kind of special, very special kind of trifling to hold up that fitted sheet and you see all them corners wrinkled up like that. And you like, I'm still about to go ahead and drape this up over this curtain rod because I ain't got oh. no home training. Oh. And, oh. It, <laughs> and this she up in this camera looking casket sharp. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> so here we go. She got five kids. All right, her baby daddy in jail. He tried to burn the house down. Shout out to G Honda. This is for the propane that he used. I right, and the mask from the nasty red. Uh, so don't tell me you was trying to burn the house down, G Honda. Oh right. my goodness. What, you doing? what are we doing? Oh, G Honda won the night. What he got? Got to get Mr. Walker neighborhood deeds for show. <laughs> yes. Right, we def- yeah. And he says, we move and Rachel Starr, number one passenger princess. <laughs> so here we go. Go let her cook. Like I said, this don't get your hopes up too much. You yeah. act like me. I was salivating at this point. I was like, this is trending towards legend status. And man, look at that makeup. What is that? <laughs> what shade is that? Here we go. Okay, how old are your five kids? Um, 16, 12, 9, 8, and 1, 2. All by the same man? No, two different baby dads. Why are you not with the man you had a baby with two years ago? It's a long story. Um, He's in jail now. Um, He had tried to burn my house up. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, so he's in jail now. He's the father of how many of your kids? The two year old. That's the two year old? Yes. So why, why couldn't you work it out with the man you have four kids with? Because he's a cheater. He, I tried 13 years with him. It didn't work. Okay. Zeta, what do you do for a living? Zeta, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear what me? You? So she tried 13 years with him. It didn't work. You tried 13 years with him, it must work. It abs- 13 years and four kids absolutely must work. You listen, 13 years of you can't retire from being bur- 13 years of bone quisha. <laughs> it's over at this point. You are you are so vested, you have vested your all at this point. It's it's in your absolute best interest to make it work. Seriously. Don't walk away. Don't do that. You can't. Don't do that. Bad move. Like Gavin said, 13 years. 13 years of Bonquisha. You can't retire. Four kids. Yeah. You got to. Yeah. You got to. Yeah. 13 years is one thing. Four <laughs> kids. You got to bang. You got to drive that home. <laughs> Here we go. This is. Woo. Yes, Zeta, oh. honey. What are you? Zeta. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, girl. Okay. I can't hear you. Somebody just tried to call. Can you hear me Wait now? Let me put it on. Do not disturb. Zeta. 
Hey, can you hear me, honey? I can't hear you no more. You can't hear me no more? Okay, get, get it together. Oh, yeah. I'm crying, but... You go. Yeah, I was disappointed. And, and like I said, after you got four kids, a man came in. And at that point, I guess he in prison now. So that I guess it just can't work, huh? He go. He go. <laughs> oh, man. So where now the first baby daddy where? The second one in, incarcerated. The first and the one, first she one, said he ain't worth a darn pretty much. They he, they what they separate ways, you know, they grow it apart. They grew, they grew it apart. How it's impossible to be it's impossible to grow the part after 13 <laughs> years, four kids. It's you can't grow the part. You could grow something, but it ain't a part. You need to stay together. It's just, it don't work. Time going to show. We ain't making this up. Why do we say it don't work? Why do we say stay together and it's impossible to grow the part after four kids, 13 years? Look at her results she getting today. It look like she winning or no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she got fitted bed sheets on, hanging on the wall. It's all bad, people. All bad. <laughs> yeah. The fitted bed sheets. On the on the curtain rods, and that and that uh budget funeral home makeup deal, her face is is beat to the seven circles of Hades. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. That was part one. I just wanted to get these out the way early, and then we're gonna okay. get right into it. But you know, it's another one. This was trending towards. I mean, this was trending towards top five status, no doubt. All right. <laughs> There was uh, no bro. doubt where this was trending. And I think Kendra ended this when it was so bad. You, it was so bad, Kendra said, Po girl, Po Tink Tink, what you doing here? Let's see. So, Let, let's see. Let's see what even had triggered Kendra to stop the madness. That's what I want to see. There we go. So hit the like button if you're just coming in. There we go. Yeah, he can't look at you just checking up. Oh, hey, Kendra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Um, my name is. I'm sorry, Kendra. I was trying to make sure. Hey, Kendra. How you doing? Good. You ready, baby? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your name is Linda? No, my name is Essence. I'm using, actually using my neighbor phone because I don't have a phone right now. Okay. You looking, what's, are you, how you, what if you going to use, you have a phone, you think you're ready to meet a man? I, yeah, I want, I'm ready to meet. I'm just struggling right now. Not been through a lot of, ma'am. Then do you think you're in a time of life to meet someone? Maybe you should get yourself together. I don't have nobody. To I know, I know. Get him on the phone. You need Jesus for real. I got him. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. I got Jesus in my soul, tell him what you want. I got Jesus in my soul, tell him what you want. I don't want this little girl no more. She ain't different her mom. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Po thing, man. Look, and we're gonna stop right there. This is a dating show. All right. It this ain't the place for that. It's a winter is here, ladies and gentlemen. Stop playing, joking, joking, and playing. Do you not see? We we just coming up crying now. Y'all see the po thing. She uh, oh, all <laughs> tugging at Mr. Walker's heart string. She said, couldn't ring at nobody. I know. <laughs> Seriously, this ain't that, no, man. Seriously, take that to the Salvation Army or something. How you coming up on... This is a dating show. You're supposed to be presenting the world like, hey, look at me. Don't you want to come be with me? Don't you... Wouldn't you feel lucky to be with me? She came up here like, Kendra, I ain't even going... She said, Kendra, look, I ain't even got my own phone. I'm on my friend's house on their phone. I'm down. I'm struggling. No cap. All right? Zero count. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. You understand? Kendra says, shouldn't you get yourself together? You know what I'm saying? Work. She, she, I ain't got nobody, Kendra. <laughs> so I called you. 
I heard you got that cash app. Oh. And I know, Kendra, I know, I know your fingers loose with that cash app. And I know you will bless me. Cause I got, I will have the Lord on the main line, but you, <laughs> I ain't got no phone. I ain't got no phone. So I'm calling you. Oh. oh. Let's see where this goes next, people. Hit the like button. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Here we go. To get myself together. I'm trying to. And I'm really looking for. I mean, I'm just gonna say this: If you don't have a phone, how would somebody reach out to you? Like the the primary thing that you would need for this to well, work. Well, I be using my baby tab, and sometimes, like I'm in a deep situation right now where I'm trying to get myself together, looking for a job. Oh, we got to keep stopping this. Hell, she said she's kept using my baby's tablet. So the baby got a tablet, but she ain't got a damn phone. And then she say, I'm in a deep situation. I ain't never heard that. I ain't Ooh. never heard Ooh. that. God, I, listen, listen, I'm here. I am here for it. So you got to get transparent. She said, Kendra, I need you got to feel this. Ooh. I'm in a deep for, to hell with a bind. I'm in a deep state here. Like, I'm like, she get chased by the CIA and FBI. I'm in a deep situation. Deep. Ooh. Deep. It's deep in this dark hole. It's deep. Sunken, if you feel me. Sunken place. Oh, here we go. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. Huh. Here we go. In the bind, shawty. In my appearance, like I really had low self esteem. I wish I was pretty as you, but like my appearance, like since I'm trying not to cry, I'm going through so much right now. I'm a, I, I'm gonna say this. I don't think this is the show for you right now. I think you know, like you know, if you're emotional right here, if you're emotional right here, the questions might even be more emotional. So you know, I'm 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 gonna say a prayer for you, but I, I don't think you're ready to meet somebody. I'm ready. I'm just tired of being hurt. Like I've been like in domestic violence relationships and everything. I just been in domestic violence relationships. That's why I'm so scared to meet somebody. All right. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> this this is what we call tatter rags. When when y'all hear us say "road hard, put away wet," these type of things. Picture this. This. This is. Believe it or not, this is what we trying to stop y'all from coming to. We trying to stop. We trying to stop this. This is what we don't want to keep seeing. Even even y'all y'all check y'all cold as ice. Even y'all saying this is this is sad. So this is what we trying to stop. You see that she ain't got she ain't got it in her to do nothing with her head. Yeah, we don't get over her parents. She got straight up stocking cap on that jamma and you don't care what you think about it. She ain't got no phone. She had to, she had to beg, she had to beg and plead just to come up here on Beyonce's internet to beg and plead, y'all not understanding. She had to beg and plead just to be in position to beg and plead. Hmm? Here we go. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. I really need this money, Nate. I, okay. And I understand that. And I feel like because of that, you know, you don't have a phone right now. You're saying you're not currently working. My personal observation would be you probably need to focus on those things before you focus on finding a man. Okay, honey? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna say a prayer for you. Okay. You're like, no cash out, Kendra? This is, what the, she like, she like, Kendra, this is the moment when you're supposed to ask me for my damn cash out. Yeah, y'all y'all can say what y'all want about that being sad, but now y'all stop. Look at her face. Y'all know she, Kendra, every, and, and that her mind right now, Kendra, everything, everything but a child of God, you better believe that. She's sitting there like, Kendra, I'm, you in that pit house with that, Five thousand dollar wig on your head, and and you couldn't send me a couple fucking hundred dollars. Curse you, Kendra. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to my guy MK says, or MK, not sure if it's shout out to MK says she gonna start singing 
what's that? Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson song soon. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds depressing and sad. Huh? Uh, yeah. Also, shout out to B. Wyatt. <laughs> says she looks like that tired black lady painting. Yeah. Or she looked like one of them old, you know, like Ooh. the old African sculptures you sit up on your mantle with the ladies holding like buckets on their head and stuff. And you got the, you know, you yeah. got the, the nice artwork in your house. She looked like some African <laughs> artwork holding up bowls and <laughs> yeah. She looked like that dang that old painting. What's it called? When that woman on the bed of, on the edge of the bed holding her head. Yeah, I forget what it's called. It's a famous painting. Life is life is literally imitating art. Here we go. Keep observing over these next couple of months. It's gonna be a cold winter. Y'all heard it here first. Hate to say we told you so, but we, we kind of told you so. So or if you're in the pancakes. She looked like Aunt your Mama a little bit. <laughs> yeah, boom, shakalaka. Uh, hey, little syrup, little maple syrup. She giving like a maple syrup vibe right now. I she, don't know. She giving heavy southern uh, uh struggle. Southern struggle <laughs> is what she giving. <laughs> southern. Uh, she says she sounds struggling. I appreciate this woman. She kept it a bean. She kept it a bean, or she just gaslighting either or. But I appreciate. You know, she didn't mind, you know, painting herself in such a dark light. Kudos to her. There we go. I'm going to be all right, though. I'm going to be all right. God loves me. He mm. really do. He going to yes. help me with my help self. He know I need help. Lord have mercy. He know I need help. He know I'm his special baby. He know what? it. All right. Hell! My, my special baby. <laughs> so... With them first two videos, the first two, we just let y'all know. Winter is here. Woo. Yes. Please. Please stop saying winter is coming because we have since passed that point. Winter is here. Full fledged. All right. The the weather outside is most frightful. All right. Uh Bonquisha, the jig is up. The the rolls. Done went cold. All right. PPP money done dried up. Huh. It's looking bad. It's looking bad. Yes, it is. So if you're just coming into the room, make sure you guys are hitting the cat or hitting the like button. Shout out to hey Danny guys. Nicole. Hey. Uh, shout out to Danny Nicole, the show sponsor right now. We appreciate you, Danny Nicole. All skips are 40 now. We're about to get into the show and get into the madness because it's a huh. lot we get into the show but the madness has Look. since been got into it's already there we mad. go we, yeah we mad excuse my english <laughs> yeah let's get into uh and a full all, part of the show all skips are 40 and not a hot 40. don't y'all be trying to drop no hot 40s we see any loose cigarettes in the cash app for super chat, it's gonna be a misunderstanding. <laughs> you muted, Gav. <laughs> yeah, not 40. this, not this, not this. We need a hot 40 for the skip, better not be no Lucy's in there. All right, and so cigarettes is killing me, man. Yeah, no Lucy's, no Lucy's tonight. So here we go. Make sure you're hitting the like button. Where we at? The likes is down. We missing, what, 54? That's a lot. That's more than a hateful 38. We could tolerate the hateful 38 at this point. But 54 yeah. is egregious. Come on now. Come on. Hit the like button. Stop being a hater. Get your hate up out your heart. Yeah, don't join the hateful 38. Don't add more to those hateful ranks. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button before we get into it. We about to take a water break. All right. Yes, granny love us some water, water. Hope you got your soup. Yes, granny love us some water. Hope you got your soup. Granny needs a water. Hope you got your soup. People don't like to drink water, water. But it make your skin so fine, y'all. People don't like to drink water, water. Baby, when I tell you. To make my motherfucking skin look good. 
So here we go. Shout out to Mucho. Hit the like button, folks. Get the likes up. All right. I see y'all in the chat. Y'all on them. Shout out to my girl, Gwendolyn. Shout out Mrs. Locks to Smile. All the ladies in the chat. Daddy Nicole, we see y'all. Hit the like yeah. button. Rebecca, the ladies holding it down in the chat. Come on, fellas. Hit the like button. So here we go. Where we at here? I see Rachai Media come through. He says, Mahalia Jackson was a civil rights gospel singer, sang for MLK. Okay. See that? Just I learned something new every day. I'm always there open for it. I had heard the name, but I wasn't sure. Definitely heard that Mahalia Jackson, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Okay. I said it had to be something sad for what was on the screen. and wasn't nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, wasn't, wasn't nothing up beat. We knew that for that go show. So, yeah. <laughs> well, we we got to going to it. it a little bit. We knew a little something. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna pull this sister up, hit the like button, folks. Yeah, my name is Orly, but on Facebook it says Lola. What do you want me to call you? Orly. 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 How old are you? You said 27. Where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from Atlanta. ATL. What you do for a living? Uh, um, I work at Kroger. Okay, that's the grocery store. Yes, me. Okay, you have any children? I do, do not. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, I'm a Leo, but I don't really care. Say one more time. I said I'm a Leo. But you don't go by that? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Okay, that's fine. Not uh, I guess that. <laughs> All right, so Orly 27, Atlanta, works at the grocery store, no kids. Um, not really into zodiacs. Keep the phone steady, honey. What kind of okay. what you're looking for? Oh, okay. Second. Okay, so. I'm looking for honest, loving, uh, gentle, um, understanding man. Okay. A gentle, honest, understanding, understanding man. Yeah. What's your deal breakers? Why hear an echo now? Maybe because I put the phone down. Okay. Oh, child, y'all do not be ready. You ready, honey? Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay. Wait, someone said a cousin's in here. Tussling child, what they argue about? I'm gonna get to y'all in a second. It's high here. I don't know what y'all argue about in the comment section. I'm trying to do the interview, but I see someone said, whenever y'all argue, someone tells on y'all. So someone said the cousins is arguing. I don't know what y'all arguing about, but let me, I'll, maybe I'll figure it out. Or, orally, honey, you guys stay still, okay? Honey? Okay. All right. Yeah. So Orly, 27, Atlanta, works at a grocery store, no kids. Okay, again, what kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for an honest, loving, gentle, caring, just a man who's um, patient with me. Patient with you. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, my deal breakers is pretty much a liar and someone who doesn't have any motivation or dream. Okay. For themselves. Does he have to look a certain way? Um... No, just somebody who I'm just attracted to. Just find attractive. Don't you find attractive? Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No. No. Let's do the kids or can. Okay. Let me see if I can set my phone up. See, man. Hello? Oh, you look like you're a great show. There we go. Uh, hey. She got a long neck. Uh, I see my hold on. I see I see my guy Millennial <laughs> Investor Lifestyle. He said uh, he in. I guess said, that's going a long way, Mr. Walker. Huh? <laughs> uh, he said, yeah. Hey, my man, I'm going to call him Mill. My man, M-I-L. Yeah. He said, he went there. Okay. Yeah. That's the step of approval. Uh, that's it. You asked me top five. Your approval. This is This is top three. Easy work. How about that? How, how, how so sway? Petite. She she about. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say oh, this. Man. I'm gonna say this. I want to hear nothing about it. She a little. She a little thin. She a little thin. <laughs> she in thin. Atlanta, man. You got to start. You know. oh, 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 see, I didn't see. Hold up, I didn't catch that. Oh boy. Nonetheless, she got no chillings. She she fit. I don't know about feminine, but she fit and she childless. Top three, I don't care. Perhaps. 
I ain't gonna jump because she ain't said too much. Let's get back into it, see what we got here. There we go. But folks, we got one in my L. We got one. <laughs> Chris Bosch neck. Yeah. <laughs> there y'all go. Body positivity. She can't do nothing about that neck. You want to get a, a neck a reduction? Stop before she do something wild. And she built like one of them uh things off men in black. We already talked about that before. Like she built like what they call them damn them big worms. No, yeah, you, know, you gotta have the gut and that sway. You gotta have that sway back. Like from the show, for like the chest up, she built like one. Like her neck yeah, and she, arms she and her head. Y'all, her and her new man could eat and gain her some way they could eat and have a good time eating. There you go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lay off. Here we go. <laughs> hey. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> So early 27, Leo, Atlanta, groceries, works with um, Kroger's, no kids. Do you want kids? I do. I aspire to have some kids. Okay. Yes. Can the guy have kids already? I'd rather not be with a guy who has kids, no. Okay. Okay, you say, you say it again? I'd rather not be with a guy who has kids already. Okay. But if I end up, like, liking him or something like that, and he has one kid, that's okay. 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 And does he have to be in Atlanta? Yes, I prefer him to be in Atlanta. But if he does live in a different, like, state, um, he should inspire to, like, want to move down here to be with me. As okay, I so if you're not in Atlanta, you have to relocate to Atlanta. Okay. When was your last relationship? Um, I want to say it was about four or five months ago. Four, say again? Four or five months ago. Four or five months ago. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time he was intimate with someone? Question. Hello? I'd rather not answer that question. That's fine. What are the three flaws you have to work on, sweetheart? Uh, three flaws. Um, I feel like a flaw I have is going MIA, like going ghost on somebody. Like if Okay. If I'm not attracted to them or don't want anything to do with them, I might like ghost them or something like that. Another flaw I might have is um, having hard conversations. Having hard, hard conversations? Con having hard conversations might be a little flaw because I don't really want to have that conversation right off the bat right now. Like, give me some space, give me like a few minutes, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Is that three? Uh, no, that's two. Um, Another flaw. Um uh i can't think of one i know i have one i can't think of one <laughs> this is that book said you can't name three flaws that is a flaw but we're gonna keep yeah. going why would a guy be lucky to be with you um i feel like i'm extremely loving um i'm very understanding um i grew up in a culture well i'm ethiopian so i grew up in like an african culture so um i was just raised to um how would i say this just i was raised to like pretty much like wanting to be a wife and learning like how to cook clean all the necessary things um that women should know how to do and um she ain't got much to say one thing she said she will ghost you so she's a runner she's a track star she gonna run away when it gets hard didn't know that <laughs> 27. Okay, she 27. She pushing it. She in the danger zone. She out here. Oh, she in the danger zone in Atlanta. She don't want to uh, be transparent when the last time she done clashed meets out there. Still top five. <laughs> yeah. So, I hear you. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Double C. Come through. Money, 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 money. We appreciate the super chat. Says just a little something for the building fund. We definitely appreciate it. And Mrs. Locks, uh, Locks to Smile comes through. She says, Gavin, next, Mr. Walker, tell SBC Nation they must make a deal. Yes. Boom, yeah. Saka Locker. You got to make a deal. Everybody. Everybody got to make a deal. Everybody. There we go. We'll let her land her plane. We're going to keep the show moving. Um, I don't know. I have a lot to, to, to just give. I have a lot okay. to give. And what's the age range you would date? I would date somebody who was 28 to 33. 
28 to 33. All right, boo, let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you? Okay, so I only have Facebook, so it's Lola Smith. Um, that's pretty much it. Lola Smith, let's do it. Lola Smith, let's do it. So Lola Smith on Facebook, and we are there to go. Lola Smith is 27, ATL. She works at the grocery store, no kids, open to having kids, would like a man with no kids. All right, boo, you keep me posted, baby. All right, thank you. All right. All right. So there y'all go. She only got Facebook. I see you, my guy Millennial. Go on ahead, jump in them DMs, brother. Now having social media is a plus. Okay, used to say that, not being all on social media. She said all she got is a, a boring Facebook, you know, where she just uh, share daily Bible scriptures and inspirational sayings. That's all she got. Staying, staying in touch with her high school friends. This is a Kendra contestant top five. Easy work. That's all. But as uh, the Godfather would say, rest in peace. She is now, she's 27. She is entering into the danger zone. Yes. So right now, these next few years is critical for her to lock down. All right. And That's it. You know what? And we got to say it. We got to drive the point home. It's all good and well. She in the danger zone, 27. She out here, she out here playing and joking. First thing she need to do, she talking about she want the man to move to ATL. She need to move up out of ATL. Yeah, because huh. now you sit. If, if she chooses to stay in ATL, no man's land right is right down the street. She might as well just get ready. She might as well prepare. She might as well pack her, her little uh, Dooney and Burke bag and get ready to go right on to no man's land. <laughs> so here we go. She definitely ain't getting the band. Don't end up back on the show in a few years. That's all. That's all. Nice speed. Yeah. Ethiopian sister. There you go. So that's so why she got go. that weird built like that. So there, there you, you go. There you Maybe go. Maybe she was carrying buckets on her head. I wasn't off base. <laughs> Hold on now. I know what I see. <laughs> so here we go. As I used to always say, ain't no more skinny people. The only way you get a someone that's that thin and petite is of Ethiopian background. There you go. Yeah, top 10, easy work. Top five. Top 10, that's too easy on a Kendrick contestant. She top five. 27, no kids, petite, you know, ah, Bill, we got to make deals out here, my baby. Top five. All right, so there you go. Top five, you say. All right, we're going to pull another sister. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. We down. We at the hateful 48 right now. Hit the lights, get the likes up. All right. That's what that's uh, that's what we need to start doing. Keeping up with these contestants and start shuffling them. Cause I'm not of base. This that's top five. If we had the visual, y'all would see that I'm right. I'm telling you. Okay. So here we go. We'll bring another sister up. Let's let's see what she's talking about. Hit the like button, folks. Get this up here. Shout out to Danny Nicole. Shout out to Rebecca. What she say? I like her. She was cool. I was getting on her a little bit, but she was cool. Top five, MIL. Top five. Easy work. I would argue top Kendra contestant. Top three. I'm still making the argument. Damn it, top two. Fight for one. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what this sister cooking on. I will make her. This is half off shorty. All right, here okay. we go. Hello. All right, let's hopefully we don't have a lag this time. All right, get your camera situated. Okay. Tell me your okay. We're going to start from the top, okay? CNJ Monroe. Raleigh, where are you calling us from? 25. How old are you? 25. What do you do for a living? So, so yeah. Okay. Hmm. You have any children? No. Do you have any kids? Ooh, child. I was still lagging. Stay. I'm standing. Stop moving, okay, baby? Okay. All right. So we're still lagging. 
So let's adopt the seven second rule. Sanjay, by North Carolina, 25. She is smart and pretty, a scientist. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? Wait seven seconds. I'm a Gemini. Gemini. All right, Sanjay. What kind of man are you looking for? Wait seven seconds. I'm actually looking for a woman. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> what? Yeah. I want. I want a wife. I want a whole wife. I know the disappointment. <laughs> I know, G Honda. I know, fellas. That fast. Yeah, I see you, Divine <laughs> Photos. Where she at? Where we at? We got a new drop tonight for her. Huh. It's going down. I'm going to my. All right. Yeah, I've been near her. Oh, man. It's going down. I'm going to my. Oh, she's scissoring. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Theo. Oh, I just, geez, Louise. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh. I was, I was sitting here. A, a M I L. I'm sitting here like, yo, scientist, 25, no kids. I'm like, y'all better stop playing. And then here she go, scissor me, scissor me timbers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this up. Oh. It's going down. I'm yelling to my. <laughs> Winter is here, man. Uh, uh, Winter uh. is here. Here we go. These scissors out here, y'all done had it. I get it, man. I get it. I get it. Y'all need a warm body. She like, look. She's like, these dudes drive me crazy. They keep getting me drunk off of that weenie juice. And I done had it. Um, it's 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 shiver. It's t- <laughs> it's scissor me timbers or bust. Scissor <laughs> timbers too. They bust. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, here we go. That was that's a uh, that's unfortunate because just based off of that, because regardless of what the <laughs> yeah t- bottom bottom five. <laughs> <laughs> Because regardless of what these modern women say, men do love intelligent, smart women. So the fact that she's like scientists, I'm like, oh, here we go. Wrong, 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 wrong. Unfortunate. What a way. Oh, here we go. Shout out to MK. Says forehead like a Klingon. The women can have that. Right. <laughs> they hurt. They hurt. I, I know. It hurt. I know. I know. <laughs> here we go. Cook, sister. Tell you something because i know the fellas was like was she cute she pretty real hair looks like a real i can see your edges anyways this yes you know no kids you got the package oh, they be looking for it, 25 and you don't want no penis. oh my own airbnb too. Huh? got her shit together and she don't want no penis only vagina she don't want no penis only vagina. Uh, well, look, you might get some vagina that might. Yeah. Well, let me take yeah. some shit. <laughs> you might get some vagina that's trying to. I mean, shit. we just do it better. We just have our shit together. I have. So, have you have, always wanted yes, to date a woman? Known since I was young. So I know that a lot of men don't respect lesbians, and they feel like that's just because you haven't had me yet. So I'm quite sure men try to hit on all, all the time. All the time. And sometimes they don't take it serious when I like let them know. So it's annoying. And they really feel yeah, like it's crazy. Like and I just break their little hearts and keep them moving. Okay. okay. They said Zach Book's crying right now. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. So what kind of woman are you looking for, honey? Wait seven seconds. So I'm definitely looking for someone who um, wants to grow within themselves, within their career, Um, someone who's ambitious, someone who is gentle, kind, sweet, who's thoughtful, um, who makes my happiness a priority, while also taking care of themselves. 
someone who has a good relationship with their family, um, someone who's good at communication and opening up, um, someone who just wants to build together, travel the world, um, love ourselves, love God, um, who's spiritual. Um, and yeah, just grow together. My do friends are someone who is not open within their sexuality. Um, kids is a deal breaker as well, just because I'm young and I don't have any kids right now. Um, also someone who lacks growth and ambition. So yeah, those are my deal breakers. So I do. woman can't be not I with do. kids ever? Um, but right, right. I'm not ready, right now, but I want to have children together. What does it mean when you say now? Um, so it's closeted. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Happy yes. open lesbian. Okay. Um, um someone who is way. fit, um, because I work out, um, take care of my health, I eat well. Um, so someone who's fit, um, someone who is put together, who dresses nice, because you know I'm a professional girl, so definitely someone who is well put together, who take care of themselves, and um, yeah, basically. Okay. I hope this isn't offensive, but I would like to ask if we could just know and move on. They want me to ask you what happened to your top? Uh, this is a birthmark. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm happy I asked you. It's a birthmark. So all you guys can know, because oh, yeah. you know my cousin's yeah. child. They no got to make up their own conclusion. It's a, it's a birthmark for those that were wondering. All right. Um, let's go back to the seven seconds. Um, does the woman uh, have to make a certain amount of money? Yes, I would like like seventy five. You know, seventy five k and up is fine. Child, well, I got a lot of hundred k women on my show. I love so to see it. Be a problem, child. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh yeah, he's definitely in shape. Oh, there you go. It's unfortunate, fellas. Y'all get an eligible one, but it's over. I guess Nug Nug done ruined it for y'all. <laughs> God damn. Sure. She said she been into Kuda Kata since, since the beginning of her time. So she said she ain't even tripping. She said she ain't never been about no baloney pony ain't gonna start. So so that's that. So And that's amazing. Because even whenever stud mama come up here asking for a wife, even she wants a, a wife making, she going to say 70K, 75K. We round up to the nearest, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, to the nearest 100,000. That's what we round up to. She wanted, how in the world are studs coming up asking for wives making about 100K? Huh. How? Why everybody got to make 100K nowadays? What's going on in the world? Is it cold outside or something? Is winter here? What's going on? So, yeah, this woman here, I see my girl, Mrs. Locks, the smile come through. <laughs> she says, over. All right. At this point, Abdul, get the rocks. So for the, the rocks. sister. Yeah. The Kendra Cam is the wine song. As soon as that Kendra Cam, they'd be like, get him out. Okay, enough. Get him out. <laughs> So here we go. She 20. What is she? 27? How old was she? Well, she 20. She 25. No kid. Okay, 25. So she might be young and confused. All right. Could so be. maybe one day, I don't know. It she definitely get the little band. She get the little band, but she's trending hard towards the big band. But 25, okay. 25, no kids. Fit ain't nothing feminine about her, but life has a way. Of changing people, <laughs> you understand? So we'll see. We shall see. Maybe that's she already got a bag. Hey, we'll see. We shall. Here see. we go. Join your band. Godspeed. All there right. you go. Shout out to Mrs. Locks to smile. Um, this sister here. Go. 
<laughs> Gotta choose a side, the right side. There you go. What's the right side? The right side is the side that has the highest probability of getting you to the end of your life with a sense of fulfillment. There you go. That's the right side. So whichever side that is, continue there playing the go. game. <laughs> See you. Huh. Yeah, right. I touch, I touch, I touch, yeah, post sister. Woo. I'm sure some people in the audience, you know, might be into that. So might yeah. have, you know. Might have say, hey, hey, if you like to scissor your timbers, that's fine. Do your thing. Yeah, like like uh like uh, uh Don Jeter said, yeah, Kendra, don't speak for us straight, man. We don't we don't care what what any alphabet community do. I don't care what y'all do, do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So we're gonna keep the show moving. We're gonna pull up a sister a return. All right. So, like I said, shout out to Mrs. Locks to Smile. We appreciate the uh, super chat and the skip yes. button. Money, 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 money. Also, I see my guy come through. The big dog. Shout out to Theo Coop. Says, late fee. We in here. Hit the like button, people. We appreciate yes, you, sir. Theo. We just getting <laughs> cooking here. Yeah, you come at the right time. Yeah, we just got done uh, scissoring timbers, and yeah. hopefully that's all the timbers we're going to scissor for tonight. <laughs> but we shall see. So here we go. We appreciate the Super Chat, Theo. We're going to bring this sister out. Like I was saying, this sister, uh, we just premiered. So there we go. She's been up on the show before. Okay. We have just premiered her video. Oh, So, yeah, we just premiered it uh, last night. She had blonde dreads. All right, another video. So, okay. I'll go and play this. Uh, we back at the 40 skips here. And we're going to get into it. Hi, Kendra. Hey, yeah, your Wi-Fi looks great. What's your name, baby? I've actually been on here before. My name is Krish. Krish, do you have an update? Yeah. So uh, I met some, 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 some good guys here, but I think um, what I was finding out, you know, I've been like trying to do better with my. Here we go. Did we miss a uh, super chat here from my guy, Mr. Mr. What'd he say? He says, Kendra G, Kendra G presents when <laughs> Kuda Kata collide. When Kuda Kata's collide. God. I like that. I like that. Kenja G presents when Kuda Kata's collide. <laughs> man. Y'all diabolical sometimes, man. I love it. I've lo I'll, I'll be here for it. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Mr. Man. Oh, man. I gotta Have you use that. Didn't skip that one. <laughs> when Kuda Kata's Kuda Kata collide. Collide and Kuda Kata's. Man. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Holy hell. Here we go. Oh, so. Spirituality. And, I, you know, guys would tell me, oh, oh, yeah, I go to church. I go to church. And I haven't really had, like, that partner that has the same intimacy. And then um, yesterday was an accident. And I had a few near-death experiences in the accident yesterday. I'm not going to go because I'm going to cry again because it's literally fresh. Um, so, and then with that happening, I just... I wanted to be more clear and more intentional about like my partners and the people in my life, you know. Okay. All yeah. right. So you had a so what oh, you know, I don't want you to go there if you're gonna get emotional, but she had a near death experience yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday it was raining. I'm in Houston. Uh so yesterday it was raining and um my car hydroplaned and almost went over the rail. Um and then it started spinning out of control. And then uh, my airbags deployed and I couldn't see right. And I just started getting hit from every side and it started going back to the another side where I almost fell over then. And then my car stopped and then um, my car was filling up with gas and I couldn't get out of my car. I was trapped in my car. 
uh, for a little bit. I couldn't get out. I was just like screaming help and there was nobody else. And I eventually I got out my car and then I was just like hyperventilating and a lady helped me on the side of the road. So it was, it was, it was a lot. Did you have to go to the hospital? Um, the EMS did come. I didn't have to go to the hospital. So I'm oh, that grateful. was like, that was God's blessing. Yeah, I was definitely protected a hundred percent. Yeah, God's was... blessing. All right, well... Stop the cap. Holy guacamole. And during all this, what happened was it was a baby on the side of the road and she stopped. Y'all know the story. A man with uh, orange hair. It was an 18-wheeler. They fed Come her cheese. Come yada, on. Yada. Come on, man. She ain't giving all the context. Just all of a sudden there was this accident. Come on, man. Listen here, man. We know y'all can't drive, <laughs> man. Stop playing. Ain't nobody trying to hear it. Sorry. And yeah, you're going to come up here again, again, again. Guess what? This is a dating show. Not not, not the local, you know, daily trauma dump. They just come up here dumping trauma. That's all they got. They're looking for sympathy and pity at this point in, in winter. That's where we at. Take note. That's where we at. Now we looking for sympathy and pity. It was it was city girls up. Shake shake your ass all over the place. Now we need pity. Help us, please. Continue. We go like I said. She was up here a couple months ago. We already did a review on her. Um, here we go. Let her cook. The car was filling up with gas. This was yesterday. In the last twelve to twenty four hours, she almost you know deleted, got deleted. But she's here. She's here. Wow. So I'm happy you're here with us today. So you say yesterday's experience has made you be more focused on what you want in your life. Yeah, I'm more reflective about like the people that I um, engage in. Okay, fair enough. So let's do it, Chris. And Whoa. where are you calling me from Houston? Houston, Texas, yeah. How old are you? I'm 33. 33. Do you have any children? No children. No kids. What do you do for a living? Uh, I am a supervisor at the Toyota Center. Supervisor, um, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah. So this is Chris Houston, thirty-three Scorpio, no kids. Supervisor at the Toyota Center. All right, love. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I am been appreciating my dry phone. I'll be honest with you, um, because, like I said, the men that claim certain things is not who they claim to be but um if i do decide to like date and which i'm okay with being single but if i do decide to date i would prefer someone that's like godly and um honest and because that's one of my biggest pet peeves and um someone that's trustworthy someone that's trustworthy okay someone that's honest and trustworthy um uh, what are your deal breakers uh my dear uh deal breakers are um People that are intentional, I'll say. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like to be lied to. Like I said, I don't like to be lied to. So that's one of the biggest things for me. Oh, Kendra, I need to tell you, girl, uh, when I put on your show the first time, uh, you have a, definitely have a troll on here because he came in my inbox telling me, uh, you need to go back to your ex-boyfriend. You're 33, five to six in your looks. Uh, you're five years away from having a, terrible pregnancy i'm like why you even watch this show he's like well, yeah, i just you know i didn't mean to watch it i was watching something else like, oh, right. well you know people listen here's the deal. people are hateful and, and people that are hateful are miserable they try to spread that energy as much as possible so it's just going to be up to you to protect your energy from people like that and 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 honestly i know in the moment um it aggravates you right but you should really feel bad oh. for that person for that, i laughed laugh. i laughed i posted it on my social media and tagged them Okay, well, you gave him more attention than he desired because all he wanted was attention. So, I mean, and I got to get better at this too because I, I I realized that I find myself cussing people out more than I should respond to the love that I receive. Somebody jumped in her DM, basically told her she about to be in no man's land, you know, more or less. Man, man, man. Don G, I'm trying to tell you. That wasn't nothing but the good Lord coming up in your inbox telling you some truth. That was that was a table flipping Jesus in your inbox. He said, listen here, harlot, go back to thine man. Stop with your playeth and joketh, joketh and playeth. 
Stop it. Yeah. That was that was an anointed word coming through. <laughs> there we go. So shout out to my guy E. Jones come through. Says why they always come on Kendra show with the sob songs. No man want a basket case off the rip. I mean, come they're on. Trying to, they're trying to work any angle they can at this point. Sympathy, empathy, whatever it would do. Please help me, help me, please. This is bad. We appreciate the super chat, E. Jones. Also, we got um, B. Wyatt come through. Says, I bet her tires got no tread on them at all. Man. You know what it is. <laughs> She told she done hydroplane and all that. Ah, uh, see what I'm saying? Hydro, come on. No trades. Uh, there we go. So what I do, sometimes it is worth cussing your ass out. But I try to, <laughs> I try to give the love more attention than the hate. So I, I can't control who watches the show. Unfortunately, right. there are miserable people who want other people to be miserable like them. I don't know, but that's all I can say to that. Let's right. keep going. Well, okay. um, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, so with my dating experience, I'm not doing any more short kings. I know that for, for a fact. How tall are you? I'm five seven. Okay. And so um five nine's okay for me because you know it's just anybody that I've ever been in a relationship, it's been five nine and up. But I can't do any more short kings. I can't. I tried. I try to be open to it. It's not my no preference. short men. I can't. She can't do it. Okay. Um, what about money? Um, I work pretty hard, you know, I try to maintain, uh, I like to buy anything I want to. And I, you know, if, do, if God does bless me to have a family, um, I would like to have that provider man. Um, and, and I, I, like Dave was saying in your Instagram, you know, I have to set my intentions about the things that I want, um, and speak those things as it is and manifest those things positively. So I would, would love to, I have group traditionally. So of course. Okay, he said, of course, of course. So, um, okay, let's do the Kendra cam. Kendra, I honestly wasn't ready because I'm gonna put my shirt on real quick, but I didn't, I was just doing an update. And so I was like, okay, I just, I had my hoochie mama bra on and my sweatpants, but I'm gonna put a shirt on. So, give me two seconds. Okay, and what was your money answer? You said, what was it? Um, enough to like just be a provider for a family. Cause I okay, like so that. provider as in sole provider, or do you want, or would you be helping out or you want them to pay for all of it? I do want to still work until like, if I have kids, then, you know, of course. Uh, but I, my, I did grow up with a uh, dad that took care of everything and my mom stayed at home. But, um, I, you know, I, I want to work until I have children. So work until you, uh, oh, after you have children, you don't want to work anymore. Um, I will work afterwards after my kids get to a certain point. If I can get them to school, you know, be at home. So for five years, you don't want to work. Yeah. But I, you know, I love to cook. I love to take it. I love to spoil my man. So what? I, no, I get that. But you want a man that obviously makes enough finances where there's only you guys can live off of one income. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see the Kendra cam. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ooh, come on, camera. Oh, I was about to break my nail. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, girl, we can't see you. We see your bed. It's my bed. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you have a good there we go. She did all that. Kendra had to go around that, dance around that. She didn't want to answer the money. Like I said, she was up here before, and last time she said she don't want to work. She wants to be a housewife. Is she giving housewife at 33? She ain't got no kids. Is she looking for Mr. Six Figures? Yeah, she ain't no. It's unfortunate, but she she talking about she all cap. This lady got too much cap going on. She talk <laughs> too much cap, too much drama. She got uppity expectations, and she working at a sports and event center. You know, she work at whatever the Toyota Arena. She like security. What she taking ticket stubs or whatever? She is she a supervisor. She supervised the arena, I guess. Uh -huh. You see, and. It, it's not, it's a it's most likely, most definitely a masculine position. She aging out, she's aging out of the lifestyle she's demanding, ain't giving feminine, ain't giving fit enough for what she wants. She's stuck in purgatory in that junky ass room. 
Nice. I see y'all telling her clean that house. Shout out yeah. to my guy, Divine Photos. Says the Godfather probably DM'd her to buy a dog. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my guy, Theo Coop. Theo come money, through. Money, 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 money. He says, speaking of, I love how Kendra always cursing out the chat in the name of Jesus, a conventional yeah. Christian. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? Convenient. They convenient. Convenient. I'm sorry. Convenient. Yeah, the, the most convenient. Extremely convenient. Yes. Yeah. Kendra, she'll pull her Bible out and hit you upside the head with it before you can blink. So I <laughs> love it. Shout out to my guy Don. Come through. What you got, Don? Yes. He says, Kendra, call the truth. Hate. Pay attention. Single women. Keep women single. Man. Just the truth. That truth that Kendra said was hate. That was that was the most love she ever got. Was whoever that troll was that went in her inbox and said, Go back to your go back to your baby. Wait, wait, no, she ain't got no baby daddy. Not this one here. Do she? Yeah, she childless. Sarah boyfriend. He told her she, you know, near a geriatric pregnancy, all that. He yeah. hit her with the stats and she ain't like it. So Kendra didn't said, like No, it. you ain't. Kendra said, Just go freeze them eggs. Don't worry about that. Uh, all right. Uh, freezing them eggs. Go back to your man. It's over. You bull jiving. <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. He says, Ah, there goes that word manifest with a man. Yeah, manifesting madness. They're going to break out the magic wands, baby, and conjure something up. <laughs> We appreciate it, uh, Project Leroy. Also, shout out to uh, Bizzle T. We appreciate you. He's also a channel member. We appreciate that, brother. Money, Thank money, you. money, 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 money. He says, if you are on her show twice, you I admit mean, Mr. Walker was hitting on that. That's what I wanted yeah. to say. He <laughs> says, you have zero demands. We was just talking about this, brother. We well, say it's desperate enough to come up here once, but to come back up here, what are you doing? Twice? Bro? And still got demands, still talking hypergamy of any degree. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a grim, grim end for you. Grim. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris Houston, does he have to be in Houston? Um, preferably. Um, he doesn't have to live in Houston if he doesn't have like family attachments, because I would prefer. I'm very close to my. I'm very very family oriented. Like I do Sunday dinner every Sunday with my family. So I would prefer someone that lives in Texas. Okay. Can he have children already? No. No. So no no men with kids. I've been there, done that, tried that. I helped raise kids before. What? So you're not doing that. Okay. What's the age range you would date? Um, so I, 33, so I would say my age, 33 to, and I've been dating older men and so I would say 50. 33. Uh, uh, I would say between 55 and 65 after, after calculating all your demands, huh. six figures, no kids, or if you know what I mean? Obviously if a man got kids, they aged out so you're talking you talking about go. a much older man that's gonna try to come take care of you there we go tighten yourself up and you better go ahead and huh sugar sugar daddy go find him go find mr willie earl you know what i'm saying with the good pension and the and the new cadillac and you better go ahead and and be sweet to him make that make a deal that'll get you mr six figures six figure willie earl <laughs> And she want to be out here all transactional. Your husband is at least 60 years old. Damn. He will pay. He will pay you for what you want. He'll meet your demands happily. But my guy Larry come through. He say as an OG. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> it ain't fair well, Mokush. We try to help you out. But even OG said, nah, y'all. A boyish ninjas, no, no. Well, there we go. <laughs> shout out to my guy, Larry. All right. Um, sh also, shout out to Decline Management. Come through with the super sticker. We appreciate you. And Rachad Media, double back what you got, brother. Says, your next man 
is at the border right now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Possibly. <laughs> Here we go. The 50, okay. Chris, when was your last relationship? Um, I stopped counting, uh, but it's... You had that many that you had to stop counting? No, no. The, my last relationship, I stopped thinking about, like, once I moved on, I move on. I don't want to, you know, weigh myself down with the thought of a past tense relationship, you know, because okay. I was the person in a relationship. I'm every month, any anniversary, I'm just like, happy birthday, babe. You know, I'm getting you something nice. Cause like I said, one of my uh, love languages is gift giving. So for my relationships, that's what I was doing. So I'm kept track of like every month I was with a person. So um, I think, I think the last time, I think it was seven months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, when I was in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend. Okay. Um, Chris, what, Chris, right? Chris, yes. What is three, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I'm an, I am working on currently being an overthinker. Um, I am currently working on giving too quickly because I am a very pure hearted person. So I have a tendency to want to give my all to a person that, you know, I meet and feel like I can be vulnerable with. I'm all what? That coup de All right. A woman like her, she scorned. And only thing Nug Nug didn't do was pop a baby up in her. All right. She scorned. She said, I ain't doing the man with no kids. I done been a whole stepmama. I done, I done did. She said, I'm done playing them games. Mm -hmm. So, so. Yeah. Yeah, this one here. Y'all see y'all see the scowl on her face. You see it. As Gavin said, yeah, nug nug then hard. Yeah, this one here can be a little bit deceiving. Nug nug then got the freshest squeeze. And hopefully not, you know, we don't wish infertility on anyone. But nug nug then been getting to her. And the fact that he ain't popped the baby up in her, we gotta weigh that out. <laughs> gotta weigh that out as sometimes, man. She 37. No baby, nug nug and round, then play stepmama. Whoa, Nelly. Like that. So my guy Richard Media come through. I said, <laughs> Skip, I've heard enough. Yeah, get, get that money. Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and it won't stop and it don't stop and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate it, brother. Come through, yeah. hit the skip button. He's enough is enough. Dang. <laughs> we always tell women, no. don't end up back on the show. Well, that's something we always tell them. And she did. Man, we done, we bringing up all of these childless women and still no, no shining gleams of light. Huh? No, uh. no, no hope in the universe for these uh, childless women. Jeez, they the scissor and timbers. They they y'all uh, they got they got the the nug nug infinity scowl, <laughs> baby or not that that scowl is in your face. It's unfortunate, or, man. Or last but not least, they getting a man taken by Muncho. Huh. You lost, you lost. If your man will leave you for me and I ain't even got no teeth, I won. You fucking lost. That's it. 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 I won. I won. You fucking lost. All right. You done lost to Mucho. Shout out to Richard Media. We appreciate you, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> mucho, mucho in the house. Watch your mouth. Mucho, nah. mucho shaking that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. I knew I smelled like somebody was uh, making fish sticks. Y'all got <laughs> putting fish sticks in the air fryer. What's going on, man? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh that's nasty. Just siphoning that funk around. All right. <laughs> Mm -mm. So here we go. We're going to pull this next one up. All right, we're getting into the meat of it now. We got another repeat. 
this is like the third woman tonight that's already been up here. It's a theme. So when winter is here. Oh, <laughs> winter is here. Yeah, that's the net net of it. I hate in the big name of Jesus. You hear me? So here we go. Hit the like button. She was up here before. She got skipped real quick last time. So here we go. Okay. Kendra, okay, wait a minute. Me and me and my homegirl was just talking, and I was like, I'll try to join, but she's not gonna pick me. And I was like, let me go want some food up because I'm hungry. And here you go gonna fucking pick me while I'm while I'm literally eating, right? I remember you. You are unforgettable. Okay. And it's funny that you're eating chicken wings because I remember your request was you want a person that you can eat chicken wings with and you want to be able to lick your fingers and you want a man that's a man man that can fix the hole in your house. You are a very popular guest. Listen, kids, I'm, my nose running because the fucking chicken wings is hot. This is very embarrassing. Okay, wait. Okay, just give me a second because I'm like, and I'm in my damn bed eating. Okay. So what's the update? What's the update? Kendra, so it's a lot of uh y'all need to the fix the fix I need you to fix is the the it's a lot of uh it's a lot of like African men. Hold on, because I'm like get out of my room. Now my nose really is running from eating them chicken wings. Okay, here we go. So I really need you, it's a lot of African men that be uh contacting the women on from your page and i ain't got nothing against some african men but i need somebody a little bit closer you ain't got to be in america but at least be like somewhere maybe Canada or some shit where it's like i want to go there i ain't i and the, the white people want to say that africa all the time I go back to Africa, but it's on my own terms. I ain't trying to go to Nigeria right now. What? Definitely not. Like, listen. Hold and they want to come here. Hold on. So you can, uh, but the update, the mirror update is, look, girl, I ain't got no hole in my ceiling. So who I fixed the hole for you? <laughs> my ex-husband. And so, what? you know, when they see that you about to get somebody else to come fix it, guess what they going to do? Come fix it. Now what? he ain't fixed no other holes for me since 2015. So let's stop get the that cap. Here. Me and my ex stop the cap. together. No more. My nose is still running from. All right, here we go, man. Oh my gosh! Why you just told that fantastic ass lie? And here. No, her ex husband came and patched that hole. He ain't patched no other holes, Mister Walker. <laughs> Listen here, I seen that patch job and moan to go, and I seen the wood paneling. Listen here, man. Listen, y'all, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Y'all already know I'm a I, I dare to claim to be a bougie Negro and is so I'm gonna say what I want about this wood paneling. It's 2023, heading quickly into 2024. Nigga, we got too much paints. And and coatings to still have that bare as depressing wood brown. I don't care if y'all got it, y'all do something about it. Y'all got that brown wood paneling up, and it's giving it, it's giving never ending struggle. You understand? <laughs> it's come on and it absorbs smells. That thing smelled like that smell like 1993's Kwanzaa ceremony. Y'all know that what that smell like. Stop. And that oh, that botched ass patch job in the ceiling. That looked like one of my first jobs. Look, that look that's jacked up. Here I we go. That. Her her ex husband came. We gotta we gonna get into it because I see y'all get ran bunks. We gonna let her cook. But this man ex husband just come. She said when they see somebody else gonna come do it, they hurry up and come do it. He's still clapping cheeks. Stop the cap. Yes, your ex husband come through just to patch a hole and leave. He came through just to patch that hole and leave. Stop. Please stop. Here we go. 
them chicken wings. They was good as fuck. My bad. Anyway, it's it's it was my mama's birthday yesterday. Not yesterday. Yesterday would be my birthday. The other day, the second was my mama birthday. The third was my big mama birthday. The first was my sus my my ghetto twin. You know what a ghetto twin is, right? Uh, okay, so refresh my memory a little bit. I think I remember a couple things. Say your name for me again. Okay, my name is Misha. I'm from Misha. Atlanta. Atlanta. How old are you? Forty-two. Forty-two, and you have children, right? I got two kids with my ex-husband, and uh, we. How old are your married. kids? They, uh, my youngest going to be thirteen on October six, and my oldest will be eighteen on. February 10th. So basically we, right now, 17 and 12. Okay. And what do you um, do again for a living? So I got a mobile rights in the company and I uh, I work for a financial company. I ain't gonna say what, what is it. Okay. So Misha, Atlanta, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. All right. So your highlight was one of the most popular highlights. So- Holy hell. You think That's so? The second, That's the you second think? time. We have never made it past this point. We don't, we know her name and that she got kids. We have yet to hear what she's looking for. Both times. Because they said they can't stand her voice. They keep saying her voice is annoying. <laughs> it is. She 42. The arrested development is oozing through her pores. Hey, Drew, y'all can't, y'all like that? Yeah, she ain't, this ain't giving. This ain't giving, y'all ain't giving the voice. Y'all ain't giving the 42. Y'all ain't giving the two kids and the, and the, and the beta husband uh, meat bashing orbiter. Did y'all ain't feeling this? No? Top five, perhaps? Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Shout out to Eric Jordan. <laughs> He says, get your delusional, unrealistic expectations as B.I. on up out of here. To the submarine, she goes away. Diamond drop. Love don't live here. Or he say, you need to get back with your baby daddy. Access denied. Winter is here. Just a vacant sea. Love don't live here anymore. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. She is <laughs> so, You know what? <laughs> That's a shame. We have not gotten her. We have not got her terroristic list of demands. Y'all just don't even want to hear. Y'all like, look, whatever, Bonquisha. We heard enough of your annoying voice. We don't even care what you want. To the sub. Okay. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> Here we go. We're Chop Media K. Yeah, started off badly, ended badly. And my guy, Project Leroy, come. Oh, Wing Night Shawty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can we please touch on that? She came on. She like a chicken wing fanatic. That's a song my kids listen to. Chicken wing, chicken wing. And that's, that's, yeah. that's, all I get. <laughs> that's yeah. her. She come up eating chicken wings. The... the how ignorant and ghetto. That's what that's what my man Rucker said. Don't trust them new ninjas over there with their fingers on the chicken. It's reasons why. All right. Yes. It's been a minute. We forgot about old wing night, Shawty. All right. <laughs> many many women don't qualify for wing night, but she eligible. Wing night, Shawty. Yes. Especially when she make her when she make the wings herself. Yeah, she funding wing night. <laughs> and she said that a uh, green card bay said he like wing night too. She said, No, no wings for green card bay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to Rashad Me uh Rashad Media to the sub she goes. Oh no, I'm sorry, Eric Jordan. My apologies. Shout out to my guy Eric Jordan to the blimey deeps, the bioluminescent creatures. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wave. 
in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, man. All right. Woo. So here we go. We moving right along tonight. Um, <laughs> that was rough. Same bone, Quisha. Mm, mm, what you mm. got, Rich Media? He says, we do not negotiate with terrorists, Mr. Walker. Yeah! Boom, That's a fact. But with this one here, man, we couldn't even get the list of demands. Usually, you know, we let, you know, these terrorists, you know, we give them a pizza. You know, we listen to their demands. We lie to them like we're going to fulfill them. But this one here, she's like, all right, listen here. This is what I want. I want a million dollars, and y'all just start shooting. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all was like, "Look, ain't no pizza. We ain't trying to hear it." Duck. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. So here we go. Um, this woman here, this will probably be half. Yeah, this half off shawty. We'll pull her out, and we're gonna get on to the back end. We got, I want to say, two features on the back end, Ooh. and we gonna mine through those because it's a lot. But we'll bring this woman out first and go from there. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. All right, shout out to Eric Jordan and uh, Rachad Media Daddy Nicole for coming through tonight. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Here we go, Mr. Walker. Let's check this sister out. Oh, man. Here we go. She got the eyes popping. This is half off, shorty. Here we go. Those eyes. Angelica, Texas, 36, Aquarius, has a four-year-old child by mm -hmm. her ex-husband. She got divorced 2019. Um, I do, do cyber for, security. What do you do for a living, baby? Yes. Cyber security. So, <laughs> Angelica, Texas, 36, Aquarius, cyber security. Um, let's do it. Stop worrying about the comments. Worry about me, honey. What kind of man are you looking for? They say there's a, there's oh. a lag. So wait eight seconds. What hey, kind of man are you looking it for? It probably is. Angelica, honey. I, I, I want to just wait eight seconds. Yes. Angelica? Okay, keep the phone steady. Um, answer this question. What kind of um, man are you I'm just looking, looking for, for someone who's funny, Um, someone who's Christian. My ex-husband was Muslim, and I'm Christian, so I don't. I don't want a different religion because that does play a major part. So just somebody who likes to have fun, like a regular ass person who likes to likes to be professional what? during the week and then turn up on the weekend. A regular person. Not anything. Hold on. She came in hot. All right. A regular person. She says she's a Christian. Her husband's a Muslim. Ooh. If anybody got that, that, that dynamic going on, let us know. But I don't know how that works. Whoa, did you hear what she really said? She said, look, he was a Muslim. I'm a Christian. Pretty much, he had too much, too much structure going on. She said, I'm looking for a regular, con a convenient Christian. I want to turn up on the weekends. Uh -huh. I ain't trying to be sitting around doing wholesome <laughs> stuff. There you go. Spending time with the kids, you know, baking fresh breads at home no i'm trying to go out have a good time i need something to repent for next sunday come on can't be out here going to church with nothing to repent for i gotta have some shame gotta hit the club clubbing on saturday back in the pew on sunday come on i'm here for this this is awesome here we go <laughs> talking out your necks in your christian <laughs> here we go addict professional during yes. the week and then turn up on the weekends. Like a person, normal, okay. a normal person. Um, all right, back up, baby. You're so close. Okay, there you go. Um, Stop the cap. Deal breakers. Wait a second. My deal breakers. Um, I yeah. don't like a man that's possessive. Um, I don't like somebody who's broke because I feel like broke people are not happy and they try to like I don't know what it is, but I feel like. If a person is broke, they're going to take their anger out on you. Eventually, they're going to just what? die because they broke. <laughs> so I don't want somebody who's broke. I don't want somebody who's possessive. Holy hell. Huh. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to Honda. They say, per the CEO of Glade City, no terroristic demands, no convenient Christians, <laughs> and to the sub and the bioluminescent creatures, you go skip. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. Huh? <laughs> that quick? Okay. All right. Y'all better duck. Y'all better duck. Y'all saying that she looked like she'd been on the booger sugar. You know, yeah, y'all weren't feeling that. She gave y'all the truth. You got to respect the truth, don't you? She said, she told you what she's looking for. Come have a good time. Be a regular, smegular, convenient Christian. Don't be, just be regular for crying out loud. Man, that was quick. Shout out to my guy, a real Leo. How you feeling tonight, brother? He <laughs> says, guys, we have a terrorist. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, this is haram. That's what her ex-husband said. He said, Bonquisha, this is haram. You got my child straightened up. She said, you know what, Ninja? This is a this is America. I want a divorce. His city girls is up. Ninja. That's all. Straight terrorist. Make her mad if you want. She gonna come up in that house with that vest strapped on, like look. <laughs> all right. Don't mess with Bonquisha. <laughs> With no color context. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Also, shout out what we got here. Uh, been great since 1978. Says, these Texas chicks are truly in the last place tonight. <laughs> yes, it's unfortunate. Huh. And look, it's been Texas. Texas has been in the house. Watch your mouth. Yeah. Right. Big L's. Big L's. Okay. Big L's. Hey, hey, everything's big in Texas, even the L's. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to MK come through. Says, I'd bet a thousand the ex was a broke prison pookie. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Probability high. Indeed. Yeah, he was a Muslim and all that. She didn't respect him. Mm. Uh, it's trending. It's trending. So mm -hmm. here we go. Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, if poor people aren't happy, then why do you hear the richest people delete themselves or the rich people want the unwanted attention? You know what? I tell you this. <laughs> I know what poor people problems is like. No, for sure. I take the rich people problems for 500, uh -huh. Alex. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know nothing about nobody trying to delete themselves. Yeah, if, yeah, I would rather be rich than poor any day of the week, twice yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You either happy or you're not. Yeah, I'm or content. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but we hear you. Appreciate the super chat. Yeah, this sister. So Godspeed. What do you say? Uh huh. G Honda threw her in the sub. Huh. All right. Yeah. Say. Say go go gaze at bioluminescent creatures. I like that. <laughs> Here we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. There we go. Shout out to G Honda. Also, got Project Leroy come through. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Says, where's her God at now? Man. Bruh. Hey, hey, y'all can't be kicking people in the sub and then go close the hatch and say, Where's your God now, Bonquisha? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Y'all cool. All right. Over, Bonquisha. See you later. Hmm. We need, let's do the Kendra cam. There we go. We'll do real quick. We got a little time. Let's see what she was bringing to the table. There we go. All right. There we go. Almost forgot. Look at this. Also, shout out to Buddy Roe. Buddy Roe <laughs> joined the channel membership. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you. I, think I have one. 
have on what? Here we go. Let me take this band. Here now. All right. Here we go here. In my house. Okay. Oh, shit. Whoa. Chubby. Where you at, Chubby? She got look, like, look at a bathing suit top. Yeah, see, look at Kendra face. It says it all. It is. That ain't. Damn. Yeah, this, this is bad. She should have never, ever left her husband. Tell you that right now. Oh. Yeah. Here we no, go. Okay, let's do the I have one. In my house. Them jeans can't even fit. Okay. Them jeans can't even fit. Them jeans can't even claim they all that ass. coming up the rest of her back. So if, if she even had that bathing suit or her whole crack would be showing. See what I'm saying? If she didn't have that bathing suit on, if her damn shirt didn't snap between the legs, uh -huh. then her, her crack, she would have plumber crack out. And how in the world, and that wouldn't even be, how is it not attractive for a woman's crack to be out? But that would have been effing yuckety. It's effing yuckety covered. Because we, <laughs> come on, that ain't it. She too dense. I got a theory. I'm going to say it because I done had enough. I believe that obesity is so high in the melanated community because this is they we seen it they want to be men so how do you be more like a man weigh as much as one so they're like you know what more <laughs> outweigh <laughs> you got to get hold on this shout out to my guy angry man this comes back to the hyena culture and when you talk about hyenas the male hyenas are smaller than the females the females are much bigger than the male hyenas and they eat first and they eat more there you go so, yeah, when we say, when we use the term hyena, there's actually observable reasons why. And that's one of them. The, the, the overall dynamic with hyena culture, the female is bigger. She mean as a rattlesnake. She abused the male. He eat last. And the kids come before the man. <laughs> that sounds that's hyena culture in a nutshell. All right, what that sound like, huh? So shout out to my guy Joker Nate Nate says, looks like the church need a gym. And that's right. And who need to be in there running the gym? Mucho. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Could you unbig your back? Come mm -hmm. on. There we go. There we go. Unbig your back. That's mm -hmm. that is a this is good. These are good solutions for today's modern problems. Get gym memberships, workout routines in the church, and get people like Mucho to, to hit them. We're going to get some results one way or another. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to keep the show moving. Shout out to MK. Come through. Join the channel membership. Awesome. Appreciate you, MK. Don't hesitate to hit the join button. Join the channel membership tonight, people. All right, on the 5,000 subscriber celebration. Shout out to every one of the 5,000 people. We appreciate y'all. Woo, 5,000 people find this to be uh, good content, huh? Y'all crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all, folks. Also, Double C come through. Says... Where are all the furniture at? No furniture. I hear echoes. Winter is here. <laughs> all right. So here we go. We on the back end. And I see y'all been real rambunctious tonight. So <laughs> we got a little bit left in the show. But at this point in the show, these last sisters, everything $100 match play. All right. <laughs> Bang, bang. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to get these brothers off the screen, oh, I'm sorry. If y'all want to get these sisters off the screen, y'all, yeah, we cooking. All right. We about to cook now, Mr. Walker. Let's get it. Turn it up. So let me catch my 
um, timestamp here, and we go mine through these. It's a lot, but there you go, James. Yeah, her that last sister, her Muslim husband, he most likely was a reformed, you know, uh, prison pookie type deal. We okay, but not, nevertheless, yeah, there was most likely some structure order. Yeah, she was trying. She was trying to go get that thing stretched down Pound Town on the weekend. She's mm -hmm. like, I gotta go see Chubby while you playing at this mosque. <laughs> yeah, gotta go see Chubby. That that sound like a bad day. Oh, yo, yo, old lady leaving out in her freakum dress, them high heels. She could only muster to wear for about ten minutes, and she said, "Hey, hey, babe, I'm gonna be home." Don't wait. I'm going to see Chubby in them down. It's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm going to see Chubby. Don't don't you fret. <laughs> yeah, she said, you know the rent, do nah. You know we gotta go see Chubby. All uh, right. Hey. <laughs> That's checked up. <laughs> okay, my God, Theo. Appreciate it, Theo. Yes. Gotta get that money, oh money. That's, that's love, right there, big dog. And it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate the support, Theo. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Do Better podcast over there with Theo Coop. He says, hit us with a fifty ball. Thank you. Appreciate you, Theo. Says this for the five k. We appreciate it, man. Shout out to Theo Coop. That's big dog. Theo just took y'all over as the show sponsor, baby. Thank you, brother. Thank you, big dog. Theo, appreciate it. We got to get our numbers up. We coming, dog. We moving, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we appreciate it, Theo. I'm going to get this thing updated down here. Definitely show sponsor right now, brother. Along with Danny Nicole and Richard Media. We appreciate y'all. So here we go, man. We into it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Drop uh, Theo's link in the chat. All right. Also, um, G Honda come through. Mr. Walker, Fabuloso deal came with no equity. With nice equity. Oh, with nice <laughs> equity. Okay. 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 Fabi Fabuloso. <laughs> you know what? I never could get into Fabuloso. That's some hood stuff. It smelled good. But do it work? Just it's really like Dollar it. General crap. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that Fabuloso is a hit in the hood. <laughs> yeah, in Glaze City, you need Fabuloso to clean up all the glaze. It's something Ooh. cheap because okay. it's a lot of glaze. You don't want to be using Clorox and top products. All right. Well, uh, see, then that come on, Glaze City. So, is it effective? We need Scotch really. Guard. It's, it has no disinfectants in it. Mm. So, it, Ooh, yeah, you just putting perfume to the glaze. God there damn. you go. Hmm. Bubbles and stuff. Oh, <laughs> bubbly glaze. Yeah. Uh, what's that, what's that sensey glaze residue left on the table after? <laughs> so there you go, man. Yeah, America, that's that Dollar Tree mess. Yeah, there we go, Don. We was raised on Clorox and Pine Saw, baby. If it don't knock you out. From the aroma, don't make you, you lightheaded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pine saw Clorox. No, my mom used to mix bleach and ammonia, and then mm. say, "Go clean the bathroom," and she used to lock the door. What that mean? Yeah. That's why you're such a strong boy, Mister Walker. Ooh, huh? so cool. Had to deal with the <laughs> chemicals at a young age. Huh? And then they do nothing to my brains either. I, was, I still smart. <laughs> oh, hell. That's classic. So here we go, man. We're going to pull this sister up. Hit the like button. Match plays now. All right, y'all been fired. Everybody heading up to the roof tonight. Hopefully this will keep y'all away. Here we here go. We go. <laughs> Hello? It's me. Hi. Hey, girl. Let me fix my curls. What's up? Your, how you doing? What's your name, baby? Um, they call me Jayonce. What do you want me to call you, Jayonce? Jayonce, like Beyonce, little sister. Jayonce with a J. Okay, so is that what you want me to call <laughs> what? you? What? Yeah, Jayonce. Jayonce. 
Jayante. Okay, Jayante. Where are you calling us from? Okay, Jay, so I'm from Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth. And I'm shocked that I'm over here. Girl, I was on Facebook and then I went to Instagram and then now I'm here. So I'm like, hey, it's me. <laughs> It is you, Jay Ante. Yes. So you call me from, you live in Houston too? No, I live in Fort Worth. That was live Fort in Fort Worth. Worth. Yeah. Okay, Fort Worth. How old are you, honey? I'm 30. 30, okay. Yeah. What do you do for a living, boo? I'm actually a fashion designer and I also own a nail supply company. So I'm a boss, I'm an entrepreneur. That's what I do. You're a boss and entrepreneur. Yeah. Okay, so Jay Ante, you're a nail designer and an entrepreneur. What's your business? Jazz you up designs, uh, and I'm a fashion designer, but I also have a nail supply company. Oh, uh, fashion designer, okay. Yeah, do you have any children? I have one daughter, she's nine, my daughter Yasmin, and it's just me and her. Okay, have you ever been married? Oh, um, no, no, okay. All right, so here we go. Baby mama alert, she got a kid. How old is she? She's uh, what she say, 30? I think she's 30. 30. Ah. Call herself Jayonce. Jayonce, Beyonce's little sister. Yeah, she a dirty 30. She got a nine-year-old daughter. And she say her friends, the people that love her, call her Jayonce. Beyonce's little sister. And she done trigger her uh Kendra. Kendra, like, what you want me to call you? And she she calling her Jayonte. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you heard her, Kendra. Uh, you heard her staying. <laughs> yeah, she said, like Beyonce, little sister. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Kendra said, a boyish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from that point, y'all know this is about to be something grand. Shout out to G Honda. He said, "Oh, I forgot to mention Lysol sponsorship." Please believe Glaze City is the cleanest of utopias. The CEO <laughs> acquires seventy-two percent equity split. All right. We appreciate you, G Honda. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh -uh. What's the zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. My birthday coming up. <laughs> okay. When's your birthday? November fifth. November fifth. Okay. So yeah. this is Jay. It's, it's, I know Jay is your nickname, but is that your real name too? That's my name. That's what everybody call me. That's what my mama call me. That's what my daughter call me. That's what the world call me. Jay say. Oh, Jayonce. Yeah. Call you mommy? She calls you Jayonce? I mean, I call her Jayonce if I want to. That's just what we do. Like Mr. Walker say, some, some of this stuff has come, it will come through your face. The expressions, we hit on this a lot. And men, any man going to this house, she ain't even got cooking yet. She all be a fool. This is, this is Pump and Dump Glaze City. All right. She sent me and my daughter walk around the house. Beyonce, Beyonce, you be in that house, they be driving you nuts. Hey, hey, Jayonce, hey, Jayonce, Jayonce, and Jayonce. Yeah, I be mixing bleach and ammonia in no time all through the house. Everybody you see what breathe. I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> breathe deep. <laughs> yeah, you Jayonce and Jayonce, both of y'all. <laughs> so here we go. Like, what did your mama name you? She gonna say, everybody called me that. What's your name? I like and Kendra Shade. Can you say your daughter? Your daughter call call you that? She don't call you mommy. She gonna and she gonna double down. She said no. She said she called me Jayonce. I call her Jayonce. That's what we do. Everybody be uh some degree of Beyonce up and through here. This is sick. Shout out to Project Leroy. He says count how many times she says my business here. Here we go. Let's break out the ticker. Oh boy. <laughs> So you're a big Beyonce fan? Kind of, sort of. It's the whole reason why I got that name. I can't go really deep into that or whatever, but... We're yeah. very curious, though. You curious? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can tell you a little bit. So, you know, back in my younger days, you know, I'm still young or whatever. I used to, like, waitress um, at strip clubs. Um, I never was a stripper. You know, even though they kept on looking at me thinking I should have been one, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was making more money than the strippers. Let's just be real. Just be. Stop the cap. What was you doing? What was you doing that you was making more money and you weren't taking no clothes off? Let's be real. Let's be real. She said, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's what be the hell real. What you doing? <laughs> We're in a place. 
where men go to see women, they pay to see women take their clothes off. This woman said, I was in a place where other women were taking their clothes off and getting paid. Even though I was not taking my clothes off, I was making more money than the women that were taking their clothes off. Y y'all believe that if you need to, all right? How do you, like we said, we had the woman up here a few weeks ago and she was a manager at a strip club. And like I said before, you are wait. How do you end up working in a strip club? Uh, how, Sway? Uh, obviously, we know how the strippers is there. How do y'all end up working in strip clubs? Let us know. We need more. You need more people. We don't believe you. <laughs> all right. And now, now with all that, bet, look at them. If, if you're at, yeah, I was going to say, my best bet is a lot of times women are attached to the men, i.e. whoever owns the strip club, whoever this man is that's go. managing the place. He probably was glazing cheeks and he hired her. Y'all got to understand how this works. It's a man, a man involved in this and she ain't going to say it. There you go. Straight like that. Look at them eyeballs. She done seen some things, many things. <laughs> make more money than a strip club. and Make more money than the strippers, but she don't take her clothes off. You shut oh. your lying nigga lips up. Oh. Awesome. Here we go. In a server, just serving beer and liquor. But long story short, um, I had like some long, like uh, blonde hair or whatever. And I kept on hearing this one dude kept on saying, Beyonce, Beyonce. You know, I didn't think he was talking about me. So I kept walking. And then he finally came and grabbed me and was like, Beyonce. And I'm like, Beyonce. And so I kind of rolled with it and I kind of became. Jay on site, and that's how it's been. You cannot make it. And, and, play, y'all. We're going to get back into it. You can't make this up. The, the origin of this name is some drunk, desperate nug nug in the strip club was hitting on her. Some desperate beta was calling her Beyonce in the damn strip club. He knew damn well that wasn't Beyonce. And she, it went to her head. It worked. It, the the <laughs> the tantalizing song of desperate horned up nug nug is undefeated. He gonna call you anything. He call you a uh, freaking Aphrodite, Cleopatra, Beyonce, mother freaking sea moss gold. Just please give me some sweet watery guts, Bonquisha. Come on. Here we go, man. And you're very serious about this name. I am. I can go and grab some clothes that I made with my name on the back, and it says J. Mm. I'm dead. Okay. okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll respect it. I'll call you that. But what's <laughs> interesting is you don't think so. You're Jayonce, but you're not a huge Beyonce fan? No, it's just like something that just happened in that moment. And then once they start calling me that at that, at that strip club, it just kind of stuck with me. And that was just the name that, you know, continued. Okay, well, there we go. Like no, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge Beyonce fan. I love her, but hey, I want to make some of her clothes, you know. But I'm not just like part of the group, part of the beehive, and all that. No, I'm not. Okay, okay. So, this is Jayonce, who's not even part of the beehive, but name inspired by Beyonce. Yeah, Fort Worth, Texas, 30, um, fashion designer, also entrepreneur, nine year old daughter, Scorpio. What kind of man are you looking for, Bo? Okay, so they call me Jay Yonsei the Stallion because I'm down there six feet tall. So I have to have a tall man. I don't do that short stuff. I don't want to walk around looking like I've got my son with me. No. I Here we go. I'm trying. God, hey. Jay, not only is she Beyonce, but she's Megan the Stallion. So this is like if Beyonce and Megan the Stallion morphed into a woman and was a baby mama, it'd be her. Okay, this is awesome. I'm here. Listen here. I am here for these, uh, uh, what do they call in the RPG video games? These are abnormalities, anomalies. I'm here for these mutated Bonquisha anomalies. So now we got Jayonce the Stallion. Lord have mercy on us all. She said, I'm six foot tall. So not only 
Yeah, God, she in this strip club, six foot tall. And 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 drunk nug nugs call her Jayonce the Stallion. Jayonce the Stallion the Great. Well, how well, she got another one? She gonna keep going with this name? Oh, here we go. Shout out to Buddy Rowe. Says Jay and Beyonce lost child. Why, sister? This is sad. You gotta also, throw Meg the Stallion in there, too. Yes, and Double C comes through. Says Big Dime come through. What he got? You hear me? You need to humble your goddamn self. All right, we got MK. Says if she's Jayonce. Then they call me Idris E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seriously. When Game Glock comes through, she told her dumb Beyonce story like it was a Marvel superhero original story. I mean, come on now. <laughs> it was. And also, I see we got Jennifer come through. Jennifer. All right, what you got? <laughs> Jennifer says, congratulations on the 5,000 subs. <laughs> She says, I've been watching since the beginning when it was only six of us up in here. Oh. Oh, 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 she oh, said, oh, yeah, I've been tuning in. I haven't missed the show. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You see that? So we appreciate it. Look at We got about 250 people in here. Jen said she was here when it used to be six people. And that was a real, <laughs> and we was cooking like this, Jen. It's cooking like this. It don't matter if it's five people in here or 500. We gonna so, cook. No, that's all. Straight like that. We appreciate you, Jen. Much love. Thank you. That's pretty cool. We definitely appreciate it. That's humbling, baby. So there we go. We appreciate that, Jen, in the house. All right. Let's let this sister cook. Here we go. Be <laughs> a tall, strong, like you know. But I'm not just like. Part of the group, part of the Beehive, and all that. No, I'm not. Okay, okay. So this is Jayonce, who's not even part of the Beehive, but name inspired by Beyonce. Yeah. Fort Worth, Texas, 30. Um, fashion designer, also entrepreneur, nine year old daughter, Scorpio. What kind of man are you looking for, Bo? Okay, so they call me Jayonce the Stallion because I'm down at six feet tall. So I have to have a tall man. I don't do that short stuff. I don't want to walk around looking like I got my son with me. No, I need a tall, strong, like sexy man. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I like. I like him tall. I could probably do a little five eleven, five ten, but nothing below that. Mm -mm. Um, I gotta have somebody that's a hustler that's like me. You know, that's just something I was born with. I've been born a hustler, so business is something I just kind of grew up with. My family, my mom, everybody been into the business. So I like people who have growth. I don't like people that stay in the same position their whole life. I got to have some growth because I would get bored with you and I would leave you because I'm going to continue to grow, baby, you know? So that's something I definitely have to have. That's just like a must. And then I need a family man because it is just me and my daughter. I need a man that's going to step up for my daughter too without that being a problem. So. Uh, so uh, she looking for a stepdaddy. Shout out to Rachad Media. We caught that brother. We appreciate you sponsoring the show tonight. Says good night, chat. Got an early morning tomorrow. Um, this is for the skip pool. So he done dropped the dub ball, but that's a y'all still got a mountain to climb. All right. There we we appreciate you, Rachad. <laughs> appreciate you. So yeah, she's looking for a stepfather, Mr. Walker. Come of on. Of course. You got to stop stopping these with these images. Yeah. She was wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that spirit be coming through, baby. Come on, Bun. Quisha, let it out. Here we go. <laughs> Your whole life, I got to have some growth because I would get bored with you and I would leave you because I want to continue to grow, baby. You know? So that's something I definitely have to have. This is like a must. And then I need a family man because it is just me and my daughter. I need a man that's going to step up for my daughter too without that being a problem. So those are very important. Okay. Oh, and I need a supportive man too, supportive husband. Support me in my business. You know, I do fashion shows. I do it all. And I need a man right there supporting his woman, cheering me on. No haters. No haters. No haters. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, I can't do the fake stuff. I can't do the fakeness. 
you know, like I meet a lot of men that be like, oh, she a fashion designer or she do this, she do that. And they know they're not on that kind of like level as me, but they lie to try to be like, wheel me in. But they got to understand that you got to tell you with that lie, baby, because I can peep that real quick if you fake. So I mean, a little, yes, I can, baby. It's just like something I'm blessed with. I can peep that out real quick. And I don't do that fakeness. Like, come real because I'm very real and genuine. I let you know straight up when I first meet you what it is. So I can give you the option, you know, if you want to continue with me or not. So I want the same. I don't want nothing fake in the beginning. You're lying about what you do, where you live. I'll kind of BS because you're just trying to get my attention. And you're going to get my attention for a little bit. But after that, baby, I'm kicking you to the side. What? Okay. And yeah. they lie as in you said on your level. You mean in what way? Um, I'm gonna say it don't even have to re really be money wise because I'm not the richest. I'm trying to get to that point though. So mentally, you gotta be on my level mentally. Like, mm -hmm. period. You gotta be there because you could be making way less today and then tomorrow or another year later, like boom, you know. But you can get there if you mentally uh focus and you're mentally stable so you don't have goals i'm not for you i'm just yeah, i'm just not goals. if i ask you what's your goals in the next five t and you ain't got nothing baby block me fuck is you talking about <laughs> this is getting bad she full of herself the validation men observe so, i'll say this I would. I'll blame you. I'll blame y'all. I'm blaming yeah. men for this, fellas go. in front of the congregation. Y'all are to blame. Why? Because yes. y'all validating her. Quit liking her damn pictures. Quit talking to her in the streets, telling her she looked like Beyonce. Y'all did this. Y'all did this. Y'all created Frankenstein's monster. Indeed, this is y'all creation. This big six foot. Jayon say the stallion creature and she running she wreaking havoc she wreaking havoc through the community you understand she wreaking havoc through pound town she can't make it this list it's a it's a gun line in what mr walker's neighborhood so they she wreaking havoc out there in pound town where her six foot aggressive self she run around dunking on people all that <laughs> this is bad Seriously, man. So I get it. Yeah, we, yeah, simps, this and that. But listen, y'all be surprised. All right. Two things man. is true. If we going to sit here on one hand and say the simps are validating her, then I will say this. There are more men that are simps than we are, are saying that we need to um, reclassify people's simphood, if you will. Yeah. Everybody, go. all men got to come back to the front of the congregation because. We think that some of these men are real, but they are part of these men that are doing this, so they would be simps if y'all say that. There you go. You know, some some of us, you know, some of us were simps, reform simp. I'm a reform simp. You understand? Growing up under the gynocracy. If you grew up under the gynocracy, you born into simp and nug nug them. That comes, that's part of the standard package. You gotta, you know how Bone Queen say she growed apart from her nug nug man? You gotta grow out of simpism and 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 son husband uh isms yeah come on now the first things y'all can do and it's real easy we ain't asking y'all to do much number one thing i say this to all men stop liking these pictures on social media stop liking their pictures stop looking at their stories don't even look at the ig stories don't don't validate them stop liking the pictures and then Stop calling them Beyonce when you know she look like. Come on now, she ain't a. I mean, she ain't an ugly sister, but come on now. Seriously, she, it's not Beyonce. What are we talking about? That's really it. You know these memes and stuff. They're not for fake. These women like this, they literally breathe for that empty validation. They post that that shot, that owl shot, where it's their face and cheeks. And they just waiting for them hundreds of thousands, hundreds to thousands of likes to come through, so they can, so they can get off. Just stop, as Gavin said. Don't even look. We get it. Have some discipline about yourself. Stop liking these pictures. Stop looking. Can you do it?
Nah. Those are the biggest simps in my eyes. Y'all out here liking these pictures. Any man out here liking every damn picture they see, you are the biggest simp. You got to eat yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. Here we go. Shout out to Project Leroy. He says, your NBA players are simps today. Uh, Kyrie Irving donated a, a brick lady GoFundMe. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, Project Leroy, for sure. I, like I just said, more Bender simps than we are acknowledging. I would say more than 50%. It might be yep. up near 70. We <laughs> must understand this. Yes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So, like I said, they could be athletes, rich and all, but if you are born under the gynocracy and you still live there, you still gonna you still gonna display simp behavior. No matter you could you could have all the king's gold, but if you still under Big Mama and them, they gonna rule you. You saw what happened to Kirk Franklin. He got all, he got uh, he got all the Big Jesus gold, and the gynocracy still tell him what to do. So there we go. Here we go. Yeah, simp purge, Kirby. I see y'all. Shepard says <laughs> more simps did not. Yeah, it's up to us as men to call it out. Because I know me and Mr. Walker, we some real men, some real ass men. So yes. it ain't gonna get it ain't gonna get no realer than this. I will promise you. <laughs> I can assure you that much. <laughs> Here we go. I don't play no games because I'm tired of meeting these crazy dudes. And I gotta tell you something, Kendra. This is so funny. I found out about you through a lot of people because people know me for telling my horrible dating stories. And so they was just like, girl, you need to be on Kendra show because I tell everybody about my horrible dating stories. I have horrible dating stories. It gets to the point where I'm kind of scared to date now. What's, give me one of your horrible dating stories. Oh, Lord. All right, we can talk about the dude with the bunk bed. You want to start off with him? Just give me one, honey. Okay, because I got plenty of them. Um, well, I can just say this one wasn't even really just too much a bad dating story, but me dating him, he kept on making it seem like he had two places, cars, this and this and that, which I wasn't tripping. He just threw that out there. Then when I finally got to one of his place, it ain't even his place, baby. He's trying to sneak me through the back door. And she belongs to the street. I'm not stupid. I see the furniture around. I'm like, who house is this? Because this is not the way you decorate. And it looked a little, you know, older. You know how you can see some older stuff that your grandma might have had or something. And then he tried to sneak me into a room, and the room had a bunk bed. That's what I'm talking about. That's not on my level. I'm sorry. I'm a grown woman. Don't play with me with no damn bunk bed. Yeah. And then thought he was going to get something on the bunk bed. <laughs> Baby, when I seen that bunk bed, I sat on that, I sat down like this because I was like, ooh. And then it looked like it was gonna fall on me. It was one of them, oh, I don't know, baby. But like two seconds later, I was like, I gotta go. And he was like, You bougie, call me that. I used to be mad when people call me bougie. I love it now. Thank you. Thanks. Stop the cap. Here we go. How? How you end up working in a strip club? No answer for that. How do you end up with a man? You a grown woman. How do you end up with a man that takes you to some trap house and y'all in some dirty room on a bunk bed? How? How does this high-value woman end up in this situation? How? What were you displaying when we, when we, <laughs> when we dare to be self-accountable? She must use her common sense and ask herself, what am I displaying that made this man think it was okay to take me to his grandmama house through the back door and try to go take me to pound town in his niece's bug bed what are you doing bone quisha to 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 bring about such disrespect and she didn't tell a part about she said she looked over on that nightstand and it was that hot piping 40 waiting there too <laughs> Man. This is every time she opened her mouth and she she beat in her chest. She beat in her damn chest. She said she bougie. Here we go. Shout out to my guy Bizzle T. He says, I'm convinced I'm going to see my ex on here someday. Ooh. I hope not, brother. Because we're gonna cook her. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome though. <laughs> there we go. Also, shout out to Buddy Ro. He says, Kendra love using these sisters. They don't even know it. This is so sad. He says, at least Kev gave him some game. 
Uh, the simp matrix is strong. Unplug yourself. Yeah, Kendra ain't got nothing but her little fake, her fake little jewel she be dropping. Please. There we go. And Project Leroy comes through. We appreciate you, Project Leroy. He says she qualifies for bum ninjas and couch negroes. That's it. That's all she that, getting. That's all she. Uh -uh. That's what she known for. She said her words. She said all I'm known for is bum ninjas and couch negroes. Sad. So here we go. Double C <laughs> comes through. We appreciate you. Says, but you're dumb. What well, he says, but you're dumb and was in there. Yes. Dumb A was in there. Yeah. So, so she was in that, that house head. on the ball. Like you said, how did you get there? How did you get there? And then she sat down. She said she sat down on the bed. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Stop, stop the cap, man. This, these men be lying. And she said, I could spot a liar right away. So these guys be coming up to me, and he just rented He got this Hellcat. He telling me it's his, but I don't know that it's a rental or it's his homeboys. And he telling me it's his, and he got the, we in the club, and he got a section. He says it's his section, but it's really his boy's section. It's his boy's bottle. And I could, I could, I can I can figure them out real quick though. I'm quick with it. I can I can figure you out quick. She said. Uh, yeah, I'm quick. I be looking through the lies. You know, I see you got a body on him, but I noticed it was empty too. You see, you see. <laughs> this is Here sick. Look, sister. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is Jayonce. Jayonce, when was your last relationship? Oh, my real, real man. Um, I'm gonna say it was like a year ago, but I don't even consider that my last one because it didn't last long. Because that was one of the ones I told you I found out out of fakeness and I cut it off real, real, real quick. So, I mean, that was the last relationship, but it didn't last long at all. So, I don't like to consider that one, but it was a year ago. Okay, let's do the Kendra can. Okay, cool. Hold on, let me back this camera up. Hold on. Okay, you definitely have a good shape, a nice shape. There we go. All right. She she kind of remind me of the mm. sister from Tell you what. the Instagram show, the insecure, the dark sister. She ain't bad looking. Here, here's the hoodoo. Here's the hoodoo. <laughs> that 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 freeze frame may help with your argument. Talking about she the bad looking sister. She, oh, I'm she talking about the body. Yeah, her mug is strong. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, her mug and her eye. There you go. Yeah, this is a butterhead, a butter. What they call them, butter face? Whatever. Yeah, that's Dracula right there. Yeah, she looks yeah, like body, a vampire. body on ten, face on wowzers. Huh? Yeah, fa face on vampire from Brooklyn. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, face on handsome boy, but body on crazy. All right. <laughs> yeah, boom, Taka <laughs> oh man <laughs> uh, there y'all go she's 30 years old she got a kid she ain't she act like she ain't even equating that into the whole dating market <laughs> hey that vampire brooklyn is the illest god damn it all <laughs> that <laughs> stone face so she wonder why she wanted a high value man to come be a stepdad and sweep her off her feet and as we would say, we said this a couple times on here. You know, you go back, you know, 60, 70 years ago, this was mm. a Mr. 40 hour a week special. This Ooh. man worked in the steel mill. You know, he came home, he would give her his check, and he gonna pop some babies up in her. That's his wife. Nowadays, yep. Instagram, and now they shoot for the stars. She too good for Mr. 40 hours. And look, they match. Look at that image of Mr. 40 hours and her. They match. Perfect. Lee match made in heaven, a respectable couple. She she keeping them happy and he paying the bills and they making some smack. You know, they may even open up a food truck or something together when they retire or something. It could be cool, but y'all need to get these dreams and aspirations of Dubai and Bentley's out y'all head. That's your problem. Pro the problem is, like I said, we're gonna keep hitting on it and beating on it, but listen, it's the truth. Like I said, 70 years ago, that was Mr. 40 Hours' wife. But yes. today, it can't be his wife. Why? Because they ain't have Instagram 70 years ago. 
and Mr. 40 Hours can keep her all to himself, and he ain't got every man from here to kingdom come telling her she looked like Beyonce. And she figured, I can level up what I'm doing with this ninja with everybody telling me I'm, everything I touch is gold. See what I'm saying? Yeah, Mr. 40 Hours can't deal with that. She, she, she a bartender at the strip club. She got to go. Her shift started at 11 p.m. And now Mr. Hour, we he all know Mr. 40 Hours at home and he can't sleep. <laughs> so that got a big to do with it. We dropping gems tonight on y'all. Y'all wonder why so many of these women, we speak on the women in particular, are single mm -hmm. because 80 years ago, you know, Mr. 40 Hours worked in the steel mill and that was his wife. She was not hypergamous. And y'all can say, obviously, women didn't work. It was a different time, granted. But mm -hmm. y'all wonder why are they single? That's the we are that was not that long ago. This is the next generation. Why are they single? Because of that. So you like that? Too much validation, too many options. So y'all hey, keep hitting like. Y'all keep hitting heart on her dang old IG picture. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Um shout out to Big T comes through. Kidra done up for the passport bay. Yeah. This girl mm -hmm. better do it too. So <laughs> here we go. Yeah. You say, yeah. Like, you know, I that. try to stay in shape. I don't go to the gym. People think I go to the gym. I try to eat right or whatever, but yeah, thank you. Okay. What's the age range you would date? Oh, so I don't like my age. I never have. Um, I don't even date something in my, like my mama age. Um, it is what You're it is. Your mama. mother's age? I have, yeah. She even inboxed me one day like, how you know this man that I went to school with? Mind your business, mama. Mind your business, yes. Because I like them older. I don't know if I've always been like that. Even when I was like in high school, like a senior, I'm like, y'all in high school. I'm like with the college, you know? I just never like people my age. So um, I don't mind 31, because I'm about to be 31 November. I don't mind 31, but I am still look at you crazy, but I can go up to 50. You go to 50. She belongs to the streets. Real quick, we try to let her cook, but this is keeping it real gone wrong. This hmm. woman is 30 years old. She said, since I was in high school, about 16 years old, I've been messing with grown men. I've been messing with grown men since I was in high school. That's why I cannot pair bond with another man. Soul ties. Her, her, her mama's, her mama's classmates getting a fresh squeeze. Uh, keeping it real, going terribly wrong. Come on, Just Charlie. college students. Like she said, we all know these girls. We don't went to school with them. Y'all didn't see them. We get out of yes. school and, you know, the brother pull up 22, 24 years old, picking up 16 year old girls from high school. That's hmm. what she was. There Come you on, go. Man. Getting used up fast. Too fast, jump off the porch way too quick. And now you 30, and this been over for the past umpteen some years is unfortunate. I don't date high school boys when I'm in high school. Huh. Those are famous last words. All Man. right. Here we go. 30 to 50. Yeah. But more, I prefer more of the probably 30s six and up, you know, but I won't turn it down. I'll give it a shot. I, I'll never turn it down. But How old is your mother? I like, like, yeah. How old is your mother? <laughs> My mom? Yes. Um, she's, she's a little bit older than that 55 range. I told you her birthday just, just passed. So you, so you would go as far as her age or no? Yeah. If he look good, you know, these older men still be looking good. Still got the pepper beard. Not, Hey, I like that baby. You know, that's not, I don't have no shame. Only thing I kind of don't like about that sometimes is their kids be close to my age, you know, and they'll be like, it may, it feels a little weird because I know the kids be looking at me like, what the fuck she doing? You know, what's she doing? Or whatever the case is. But when they get out of, they might want the same thing too, you know? I don't know, but that's what I like. Okay, okay. So, Jay, I say you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, a couple months ago. Couple months ago. Yeah, I kind of gave it to one of my exes because I needed some. Say it again. 
I kind of gave in to one of my exes girls because I needed some, you know. We be having what? these, and I just kind of gave in a little bit, but it was a couple gave months in ago. a little bit. Okay, it was a couple months ago. What are three flaws you have to work on? Oh, okay. So one of mine is like I'm trying to learn more patience. My patience is very, very thin, like very, very thin. Um, I'm quick on um, if someone kind of give me pissed off or whatever, and I'm not necessarily pissed off. I don't want to hear it no more. I just, I'm going to cut you. I don't want to hear it no more. But honestly, it takes me a long time to get to that point because someone has to really keep on doing the same thing over and over and over. We don't talk about it over and over, communicate about it over and over. And then finally, I'm just like, I don't want to hear it no more. You know, and cut off, boom, bam. Oh, here we go. I know. A lot of y'all like, why is she acting? Where is this bravado coming from? We done said it. I ain't going to keep repeating myself. Y'all heard what we said. Hey. She's <laughs> acting like this for a reason. And granted, I ain't going to give her no pushback for acting like this. If I nope. went out the house and every damn woman I seen was throwing their bras at me, I'd be walking around acting like Drake. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? And drunk Nug Nugs is telling her that she looked like Beyonce the Stallion. That you know, kudos to Nug Nug, man. He pulled that one out his tail, man. You gotta you gotta respect the game. He, he getting what he want. He ain't worth a damn, but he getting what he want. Beyonce the stallion got her all glowing now. And now they gonna take her back to the bunk bed palace. <laughs> yeah, original car. She thinks she a 10. So here we go. We got a cash app coming in. Shout out to my guy Walt dropped the dub off on us. Uh a little late here, Walt. We apologize. This sister here, we've been caught up in this one. We appreciate you, Walt. He says a little something for the grill. Thank Man. You. Yeah, yeah. That's all that validation. Y'all see how strong the mug is. A mug that only you know a parent could love at the very same time. What a compliment. She kept saying it. She said, I ain't even a Beyonce fan, but I'm Jayonce, the mother-loving stallion. So you got to say the whole name now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Don, her body got that big head. Okay. Shout out to Eric Jordan. Comes through. He says, just hilarious, only qualified for pound time. Yeah! Boom, Zakalaka! She do look like just hilarious. You see what I'm saying? She looked just like the- she looked like the woman off Insecure or... Or the TV show, y'all remember Girlfriends? Yeah, the girl, the yeah. dark, the dark chick with the big eyes. She do off of off that. There you go. There off you girlfriends. Go. Or she looked like the lead character off of the old cartoon Gargoyles. What was my oh. man? Uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> that that was that was the whole. We went from one end to the other, huh? She turned you into stone. Huh? Oh, All yeah. that. All of that. She deserved that. She cause she came up here acting crazy. Yeah, this is this ain't just hilarious. This is just delusional. That's her name. <laughs> so here we go. There you go, Josh Tony, my girl Tony off girlfriends or the girl <laughs> off insecure. She looked like a mixture of both. I right. shout out to what's the king to a guy got his membership tonight. Welcome to the membership, brother. He says preacher Polly knows it's over for her. All right. <laughs> Preacher Paulin. <laughs> <laughs> Preacher Paulin. <laughs> oh. Preacher Paulin. <laughs> uh, y'all did ain't see Vampire, Vampire in Brooklyn, man. Y'all better. Y'all going to lose your black card. Y'all better check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is Preacher Paulin. And Preacher my guy, Pauly. Shepard, comes through. He says, new to, uh, new to the channel. Come through, support this interest. That's how you do it, brother. We appreciate Thank you. you. A show. So here we go. We're gonna let her land this plane because we got another woman after this. So here we go. You know, and then I'm gonna say one of my flaws, it might be a flaw to some people, some people not, but I feel like I do work a lot, but I'm really trying to build my business. My business been getting way more orders, views, than it have been in the past. So you know, I am a workaholic because that's my dream. And it's not something that I just woke up tomorrow and say, I want to be a fashion designer. It's something I've been wanting to do since I was a child, you know? 
So okay. this is something I'm going to continue to build on. And that's why I said I need a supporter, but I need to find some type of balance. So I guess they could be like a flaw trying to learn the balance with trying to make sure my man is good, but also make sure my business, which is also my other baby and then my, also my daughter. So, you know, those kind of are flaws a little bit. And then I can't, uh, my third flaw might be too understanding. Yeah, too understanding. Too understanding. Are you trolling? Someone said you're trolling me. Who? Um, he paid five dollars to tell me you're trolling. Big Elvis. Let me see if I can put it. I don't know how to do it. Big I never Elvis even been on here. So how do you even look at the chats or whatever? I don't know. I can see. I can see the. It goes fast, but I can see IG and Facebook. I mean, excuse me, YouTube and Facebook. So are you trolling? Are you everything you're saying is truthful? Why? What I got to lie about? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. My first time meeting you. So everything you're saying is No, true. just because whoever that is probably lie all the time. That's them, baby. I'm a very honest, open person. If you want to look me up my business, it's jazzyoupdesigns.com. You okay, can look we're at gonna a stop there. We're going to stop there. All right, okay. Now, I'm Jazz, just saying, you, I'm more, you, lie you can look it up. Jazz, do you have, do you want more kids? Um, I could have one more. Um, I'm not trying to have a lot of kids and it's just because of, like I said, my business, you know, um, I know with more kids, I will have to put more time into that, you know, to the kids and to the family and less away from my business, make my business grow. I will have way more, but I don't mind having step kids. <laughs> you don't mind having step kids? No, I don't mind it. As long as they have control over they, they baby mama. Cause I didn't have one before I put a whole snicker in my car, in my tank, because she was mad that I was with her baby father. So you I don't like her and, you're, and you're guessing? What? Yes, girl. And let's just say I almost went to jail tonight, so I don't want to put myself in that type of Oh my God, Theo, what? That wasn't the snicker, that was doo-doo. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's doo-doo, baby. Oh, uh, <laughs> doo-doo, baby. They was putting doo-doo in her gas tank. That's horrible. Yo! Yo! She said they got him for the whole snicker in my gas tank. How how bold question them so crafty, you know, to know that you know this sugary thing's just gonna gunk up the fuel system. Y'all foul. That's why y'all be getting, you know, uh, deletion threats, deletion attempts, getting drug, cut up, uh hawked up, acting wild, destroying people's cars. Y'all know ninjas like their cars, y'all better act like y'all got some sits. Yeah, chocolate. It's doo doo, baby. Y'all out of pocket. <laughs> Somebody was dropping the whole deuce and to pop that cap off and, and pinch one off in there. Said, boom, boom, quick, you go sleep with my man. Take this. Oh, man, this is terrible. Yeah, and I see my girl, uh, Mrs. Locks to smile. We're going to bring her out because at this point, she looking for. Uh, the hoochie daddies and the baby daddies Ooh, at this point. Oh, my girl. Hey. They need to eat me out. Hi. I'm out here in Miami. Hey. Looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? Why the niggas ain't getting red shit? Huh? My son need a new baby. Yeah, too many bitches. Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie straight. Yeah. You know the jazz do the baby. Yeah. I like a nigga with a chain. Yeah. Pound town, oh pound town, show me. Uh, we moving, hmm. man. Pound town. That's gonna be my alarm clock. <laughs> Here we go. Like a position, like I don't. So it's gotta be a man that has control over his baby mama. Still ain't messing with her because that's how them feelings, you know, get involved. Because you're lying. Because you're really playing both sides. You're really still messing with her. So I need someone that's really through. With that and knows how to have great co-parenting. Co-parenting, I mean, you go over there and you're laying on her couch watching the kids. You know, like certain stuff. You got to have boundaries. You got to have boundaries. All right. And then um, can the guy have, you said he can't, he can't have kids and you are open to having kids. All right. So let's do it. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? For one, I'm like a lover and friend. Like I'm both. I'm like your friend that you can talk to about everything and listen to you. And I'm also, you know, like, I'm white material. I don't know nobody. So I'm not saying no one said that, but I'm I'm both or whatever. And I'm a hardworking woman. I'm a great mom. And I'm not no beggar. You know, I work hard for everything I do. I'm not no beggar. 
Um, a lot of men should love that because I'm not putting my hand out asking for stuff, you know, reaching for stuff. I'm really a hardworking woman. And I feel like, why would you not want that? Why would you not want that? Let's do it. Jay yeah. Han say, oh, do you want to be in Fort Worth, Texas? I actually would like to move because I feel like my business with me being a fashion designer will be better like in LA, Atlanta, somewhere different. So I would why not Atlanta? Here we go. Uh, and a guy would be lucky to her. Why wouldn't so what is she, she's so full of herself? She don't even get it. She don't. She cause she she think that body is is compensating, overcompensating for what's lacking. She, the vet. This is what that empty nug nug validation does. This is the monster that it creates. This is this is this is nug nug's monster. Simping nug nug's monster. That's it. Huh. You done yet, sister? Cause the sub all warmed up. Oh Am yes, I, it is. Um, moving. I've always wanted to move. I've just been a little scared to pack up me and my daughter <laughs> or whatever. But I've always wanted to move. So if I had a man that's with me that want to be a team and we do it together, hey, I'm for it. He's for it. Jayon say Fort Worth, Texas, 30, nail design, entre excuse me, fashion designer, entrepreneur. She has a nine-year-old. Um, Scorpio, she would date men her mom's age, 30 to 50. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Oh, um, have your stuff together. She won't do no bunk beds. And don't <laughs> fake, don't become, don't. Approach her and say you can keep up with her and you really can't. Thank you. Yes, you you summed that all up. Yes, that's it. Okay, how can the guy reach out to you, honey? Um, I guess like on Instagram, I guess that's how they can reach me. Come on, get my phone number out, you know. So Instagram, J M Say Stallion, J A Y O N C E, and then it's Stallion S T S T A L L I O N. Oh, she's serious. I guess we y'all, I know y'all want to see this, so let me yes. see. Yeah. Oh, what you mean? We must see what a uh, Beyonce the Stallion looks like. We must. It, it, it must be a glorious thing. A damn unicorn. Great white buffalo. What we talking about? Bring your big goofy cell phone. Six foot tall. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a shame. Could you imagine her with an actual desirable mug? How much more terroristic her demands would be if she actually had a, a mug that, that only a parent would, could love? Could you imagine? Be crazy. Here we go. We'll dive through this real quick. All right. Uh, let's see. Jayonce the Stallion. This is her on Instagram, people. What we got here? I know it's all uh, good. Gotta be. Oh, she hanging out with big, big, uh, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he said this is a three piece custom. I, she made this bathing suit for her. <laughs> I guess she sells bathing suits. That's where her business is. That's a she made piece. this three piece bathing suit for Monique. I don't know what she made that out of. That's a lot of fabric. Woo. Huh? <laughs> She's skilled. She made shoe. She made that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, uh, custom. Don't, don't. It got to be custom. <laughs> uh, That's her. All right. Dallas Cowboy. She had the Cowboy game. All right. This is her big old sister. She's six foot tall. Put heels on, she's 6'4". This is a big glass of water, people. There you go. Yeah, so it's going to take a particular man. She says she don't want no short man. Got to have bread. She <laughs> want the top percentile man to come in and be a stepfather. Man, six. Like, you real rap. Six foot four with them heels on. It's unfortunate, sister, you ain't. You don't have the the mug or the femininity to, or the or the childless, or childless. It's you want too much. It's unfortunate, but do your thing. Be a we said this last time. It, it's purgatory for women like her to be able to go meet to meet with a man she desires, but that's all he wants. 
Men, men rarely can do that unless you got resources. An average man just can't go out and sleep with the every woman he desires. But she can. She just can't keep him. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, she can shoot her shot at any guy. He will give her, you know, uh, a night or two. But that be about it. Yeah, give her a night or two. I, I see somebody come through before. That brother come through. He leaving that hot 40 on the dresser, Mr. Walker. And that be that. <laughs> that right. be that. She said, she say, how you going to leave a hot 40? And we just jumped up out that AMG E-Class. So that S550. How you going to leave me a hot 40 and we just jumped up out the S550? And you going to leave me a hot 40? The disrespect. That's it. Leave that funky 40 on the dresser. That's all she get, fellas. Nothing more. And it's going to be two Lucy's in there. Let's get that understood. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, keep in mind, this is this is the strip club waitress lady. That's her occupation. Strip club waitress. She worked in the strip club, but she wasn't a stripper. Huh, I can't tell. Huh, what are we talking about? Had a good time, such a vibe, come shoot outfit. I don't know what this is. Is this a class? Is that a classroom? It's a classroom, but them are grown women, some kind of uh music video shoot. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. No, they being they being they being artistic. There you go. Uh Thanks. So there you go. Right where she goes, she got Kiki Palmer see-through clothing on with thongs. You can see everything. All right. Uh, got to show you these cheeks. Got to show you my best asset. We know what That's it. it. So the Alpo's face. Okay, and so ass. here we go. She really bald head. Okay. Okay. Bold so she really ain't got no hair. Don't be wigs. That'd be a hell of a wig. Oh, yeah. Don Jeter pointed out. Her dang going to part in the middle of her head about two fingers wide. Yeah. That's just brazy. Okay. Could have fooled me. Ball heads and the way. Ain't got no hair in bag. Okay. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah. That's what usually do come with that strong mug is, is a battered head of hair. It's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. That's her. Jump in her DMs if you're interested. All right. Go on in there. Uh, give her some money. Sponsor her. Sponsor her, you simps. Go ahead and give her some money for her fashion <laughs> business. Go ahead. Simp on. Sponsor her, you simps. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got bring Shane back in the room. That's all. Real rap. Real rap. There you go, ladies. For all of the detractors and critics that say we don't do anything to try to hold men accountable, look, we shaming them, you simps. Stop. Stop giving the validation to these hyena mercenaries and give that validation to the wives out here. There you go. That's what we do. Then you part. will get people coming to the room and say, why y'all being so critical? She's beautiful. She's this, she that. Beauty is not the whole, that just qualifies you. We can't keep telling y'all. No kids, go. beautiful, fit. Some of these things just qualify you. It's not the end all be all. Her That's attitude it. was horrible. She's a hyena. She's a mercenary. No matter what she look like. Straight like that. That's it. Some of these things, being fit, feminine, cooperative, that just qualifies you. That's like paying your bills on time. It don't really help you. But not being those things hurts you, disqualifies you. She's disqualified. Her big old self. That's all. So, she got a whole tattoos it. everywhere. Tattoo on the whole cheek. Piercings in both her nose. This is a modern hyena. No peace. That's what I wanted to say. She said, why would go. a man be lucky to be with her? She started, there's no peace. What She said, what does a man want? A man wants peace. There yes. will be no peace with this woman. No peace. Why did why did that, uh, that white brother leave that Tamar Braxton character? He said, I got to leave her for my peace. Uh, Men need peace. Message peace. Without peace, there shall be no no uh, happily ever after for Bonquisius. Peace. Like I said, rest in peace to the Godfather. 
He says men will marry down for peace, cooperation, femininity. It's not all about look. Men will marry down for these things. Understand? Yep. Yes. Peace. Peace and harmony. That's it. That's it. Not you in his ear talking about let's turn up this weekend. You so come on, let's go turn up. Let's go to the club. Let's go. Let's go catch a DUI. Let's go out here and get in trouble. Let's go get to a fight. Let's wind up on World Star. Nobody trying to do that. Just want peace. So here we go. With that being said, go and holler at the bioluminescent creatures. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, man. Over. Mm. That's it. There you go. Uh, what's that? SEB Devo. Go down in looks to go up in cooperation. Yes. Easy work. Easy. Absolutely. Don't nobody <laughs> want to be with a beautiful headache and stress. That woman be done took you up out of here early mm -hmm. and take all your... She, you'll be in the grave by 50 and she's going to have all your resources. Ain't worth it. You lost message so <laughs> here we go people we're gonna bring this next sister out where we at here y'all thought that was it it ain't it gets worse it gets it, much worse it ain't over it gets much worse that's yeah, it really I, I always find that to be amazing how does it get much worse than the six foot gargantuan woman talk about what she, what she do and don't want let's see uh so you ask, you want to ask that question, huh? Yes. Here we go. We're going to bring this sister out, people. Get your popcorn. It's time! So here we go. Ooh. Jawan. These are the slow second cousins. We don't really know them. Ooh. Also, we still at hundred dollar match play. Y'all ain't about to ruin this for us. All right, this bump, this is a treat. Here we go, Mr. Walker. Uh. Hey, Kendra. Hello. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, get your get your camera together. Is your first time here? No, this is not my first time here. So I'm gonna leave. But I wanted to say, my friend, his name is Dave. He met a girl from your show. Um, I'm Halo. I've been on here twice, so I don't want to waste your time. But my friend, he met a girl on your show. They in love. I think they're about to get married. They put um, um, he proposed to her. They met through your show. His name is Dave Light TV on Instagram, and they they met through you. They met through. No, you. I know Dave Light TV. I, he um he has a girl. Let's he has a new girl. Yeah, he can He 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 got a girl that he met from your show. Oh, he does. They, I know Dave. I got to reach out to him because he didn't tell me that. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Um, so I was just letting you know that they, they are happy. And I'm so proud because he's my friend. And um, he was like, he's been trying to tell you that uh, they met from your, sh your show. Hey, Dave, Dave, okay. Fast forward this. Yeah, so she's Dave, pretty. pretty. Okay, Dave. Natural hair, pretty. He's always like, so I'm happy yeah, he said he's been too. trying to reach you. Yeah, I literally missed the DM. He sent it August 25th, so maybe like a week ago or no, August 25th, over a month ago. I don't know how I missed it. Yeah. But um, I'm talking about him now. I'm gonna see if he could come on. Um I'm trying to catch it. She called with an update for that guy. Like, she yeah. got a lot of backlash of, from then women about she gonna get into it and he got a whole fiance a whole fiance and they're in love and they do they be doing their trips and all kind of stuff they have fun they have a good time together yep okay real quick before you go they want to talk about your ig name 
<laughs> oh, my throat is deeper than slavery. Your your throat is deeper than slavery is your Instagram name? What? Why is your why is your Instagram name? Your throat is deeper than slavery. Because like I, I can swallow stuff and it don't come back up. Like, like bananas and stuff and you know. Hey, girl, well, everybody can swallow bananas. And are, are you no, 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 no. I swallow bananas. I swallow bananas whole out the out the out the peel. I suck them out the peel and swallow. Everybody them can't swallow bananas I whole. In my mouth that right? And there suck we. Them out and it don't come. There we go. God damn me, man. What's going on? Hell, hold on. God damn me, man. <laughs> it's too much going on. Whoa, slow down, well, show the, day. The IG name is uh. What'd she say? My throat is deeper than slavery. Oh, yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Don't so mind through it, too, because it's deeper than slavery. I, I concur. Dang it. it. She up here talking, kids. Everybody can swallow bananas. I don't know who these, who these bananas swallowing ninjas. Does everybody just swallow bananas? Okay. So yeah, we ain't swallow bananas all 2024. That's what we ain't gonna do. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, I beg your pardon. I <laughs> beg <laughs> shout out to Theo. <laughs> I I beg your pardon. Deep sister. You could have chose anything, sister. Mother Seamoss Gold. Come on, sister. Deeper than slavery. Show me. Show Dr. Umar. <laughs> Man. I don't use comments, baby. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. There we go. Shout out to Theo Coop. I beg your pardon. We can let her cook, Theo. This is about to go from Zeto to Hundo. All right. Golly. Mm. Have mercy. Take, let me take it back a second. Here we go. And stuff, and you know. Hey, girl, well, everybody can swallow bananas. And are, are you no, 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 no. I swallow bananas. I swallow bananas whole out the, out the, out the peel. I suck them out the peel and swallow them down. Like I put the whole peel in my mouth and suck them out, and it don't come back up. Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. And then my tongue like real, real long, like, like. So yeah. Do you, so what was your story? I know you've been before, but do you mind if I get an update of, like, remind myself what your story is? Okay, my name is Halo. Um, I'm an artist. I, I I rap. My name is Halo the Dominatrix, and I'm a comedian. So it's like a lot of guys don't take me serious because they think, oh, you are an entertainer. So you have access to a lot of guys when it's not that. You feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes I need a man that's go that know how to micromanage and manage me and direct me because evidently something I'm not doing right because it ain't took off yet. So I need him. To I remember my, her. My entertainment serious and then me serious as just a person, or you could just take me serious as a person and I'll have somebody else manage and you know be about my entertainment. But you just gotta understand that this is business and that is gonna be business. So it's like it's hard to separate the two, and they don't take me serious. And that's that's what it is. Like, well, let me they don't know how to separate. So you're an entertainer. What do you do? You're a comedian. <laughs> I'm a comedian and I'm an artist. Yes. What kind, what kind of artist? A rap artist. I rap. A rap artist. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. Um, um, um you do have children. How many children? Um, two, five and ten. Five and ten. Also, why is he not seeing that I'm live? Um, Where do we go after all that? If she'd have said she had no kids, I'd have been like, okay. You know, like oh. we said, go be a desperado. She got two kids. She, I remember her. Yeah, she, she been up here. She up here talking about swallowing bananas whole. For y'all that don't remember, <laughs> before she came up, she was talking about, this is this is Miss Eating Man Box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the Man Box Eater. Yeah. yeah, she been eating bussy all 2023. Yeah. <laughs> and she swallowed bananas whole. Okay. I remember her. Miss Bussy Eater. Welcome. Exactly. Back. So she was up here talking about eating man box the last time. Exactly. Uh, 
yeah, she's back. This is awesome. Now she's swallowing bananas whole. And her and her and her uh her damn stage name is called uh Throat Deeper Than Slavery. Yeah, she has evolved. I told y'all it is this is the evolution of Bone Quisha. These these anomalies are gonna keep morphing. This she's morphing now. She ain't just eating man box, she's swallowing bananas whole. Stay tuned. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to MK says Hotep Freakazoid chick. Man. <laughs> if Project Leroy come through, call her everything but a child of God to die. I would call your ass everything but a child of God is what I do. Now get your little bitty ass up off of here. Sure. What the fuck you think this is? <laughs> we appreciate it, Project Leroy. And my guy Jihanda come through. He says, Is this the Thoat Goat Chronicles? Glaze awaits. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and what's the king to a god come through? He says, How someone gonna take you serious when you're bragging about how you eat anacondas? It's sad. And man, and, and bussy. Anacondas and bussy. Yes. <laughs> and B and Bizzle T come through, says, We need to bring back shame. As the Spain in divine photos, money, 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 money. Our ancestors are rolling in their graves. Not yes. yet, not yet. Let her cook. Not. Oh, here we go. Um, wait, hold on, not yet. Let me see. I don't know why he's not seeing. Hold on. Um, let me grab okay. Five to ten. Are they both by the same man? Um, no, 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 like my first, my first. Baby father is deceased, and then my second one is, you know, he's basically dead to both. He's dead what? to both. Okay. And how old are you, Halo? 28. 28. 28. Okay. So Halo's an entertainer, a rapper, 28. Um, she has two children. And where are you calling me from? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. What? So what kind of men are you looking for? Okay. Can't smoke cigarettes. Can't smoke cigarettes. Can't smoke cigarettes. Um, no CPAP machines. What? No what? <laughs> no CPAP machines. What's a CPAP machine? The machines they, they use to go to sleep. Why would somebody need a machine to go to sleep? Because some people do. And I dated somebody that did and I couldn't go to sleep. So... But he was a great guy. I just couldn't go to sleep. Okay, that's it. What? Here go Kendra. Once again, Kendra live on some planet that no Kendra. You're like what? Granted, Kendra. Like I ain't never dated nobody blowed out that came that's dying in their sleep. He's mm -hmm. talking about. But y'all, that's just as goofy as Kendra. Yeah, she talking about some big blowed out. There we go. Who loves say that? Miss Locks a smile. She talking about some blowed out sip. <laughs> Dude over there laying there, she done just she done just put that that slavery throat on him, and he over there uh, try not to <laughs> pass away in his Ooh. slumber. Every breath, y'all need to be loud, just wild noises sound sound like death is coming because it is. It's trying, but that CPAP machine with the tubes is keeping him from transitioning over. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, thought thoughts done. <laughs> If my guy he Jones come through, he says that's gonna be a no for me, dog. In my Randy Jackson voice. <laughs> yeah, boom shakalaka. <laughs> she wow. Here we go. Get him, thought mama. And we're gonna check her IG out after this. Here we go. But um, no cigarettes. Like um, uh, nice, nice smile. Um, nice hygiene. Um, know how to lead. Be be a great dad if you have children. I don't mind you having children, but be in your children's life. That's very that's a like that's a a sexy feature to a man to me. Like you being an active dad, I can get with that. Like you like I don't care if you tell me, oh, I can't go today because I gotta take care of my children or I gotta get my kids this weekend so our dates cancel. I'm i I'm cool with that. You're a father. Um yeah, sleep apnea. Uh what else? Um I want him to be taller than me. I'm five three. Okay. So I, I I want him to be taller than me. And then um what else? Not you know, read books, know how to read. 
Because men do not be knowing how to read. So every time they go out to eat, they only get burgers and chicken tenders. Like, they don't know what an entree is. Like, know how to read. Okay, I'm sorry. Nope. Know how to eat? Huh? You say you know, you say know how to eat? No, no, know how to read. Men, don't, Some men don't be knowing how to read. Like, I don't want no jail, babe. I want a man to know how to read. That's all you qualify for. He might not read, but i tell you what he can do. Throw babies. I'm trying to bust all oil. Woo! Right. Match yeah, made in heaven. Yeah, match made in heaven. You got you got this you got this uh four hundred years of throat goat and and he he gonna come find out. There you go. This is sad. She like y'all said she trolling, but we're gonna let her cook. I don't think she is. This woman is mental. We're gonna yes. check her IG out. I think it my theory. I told Mr. Walker this. This is when we get people like not really diamond because i think diamond that's like more drug related i'm not yeah. sure of mucho's reasons this is a young mucho i'm trying to tell you okay. this is people the nut houses are closed mm. they walk amongst us there you go yeah i've been i've been stressing that yeah people need to realize that's not just a saying at some point can't remember when but they just closed the mental homes and just let people out and they and they no more admissions. So now they just walk amongst us unchecked. Unchecked is the problem. So you get these people that are uh <laughs> rest in peace, Bo Shalahita. They out here and they intimidate in human beings. I mean, they they impersonate in human beings, all right, like like aliens, they unchecked, but they unwell. And here's one young mucho in training. This is all bad. This is mental health. I don't think she's trolling. So here we go. A man knows how to read. I want a nerd for real. I want a dude that like like Narada, like Jimmy Butler. I like Jimmy Butler, the basketball player. Yes, I got. I like him real bad. Yes, he just give me this. Mom, leave me alone. I don't want to be famous. This is why people don't take you serious. <laughs> you say what? This is why people don't take you serious. This is why people don't take you I'm serious. I'm serious, but I'm being serious right now. Are you so, so serious? Are you considering Jimmy Butler as a real option in life? Yeah. Oh, here we go. For y'all don't know who Jimmy Butler is, he is the NBA basketball player for the Miami Heat. This was him the other day. He's a strange character. And he will do himself up. He likes to wear costumes and look, he paints his nails. He said he an emo guy now. That's why she did that song. He a strange character. All right. Okay. I what do I okay? He an emo dude. Hey. Hey. Sure. <laughs> we are God dang it, man. Listen, that's cool. Long as he good for it, he could be emo. Who says black folks can't be emo? Huh? I used to listen to a little bit of grunge rock, a little, little bit of uh, yellow card, you know, slip. No, nah, I don't know, slip not. But some yellow card, some indie rock. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey. His brother, wow. That's fine. Yeah, brother, stop letting people stereotype you. If you want to be emo and get your hair permed and flip, it's, it's wild, but go ahead. Do you. Be comfortable. Body this the guy single. last year, if y'all remember, he does this every year, I guess. He come, he shows up to training camp with a crazy look. Last year, he showed up with weave in his hair. He had the weave extension braids in. So he's always doing something feminine and strange. So that's his MO. Yeah, I wasn't, I ain't co-signing this, brother. He's strange. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about sports, but yeah. <laughs> So here we go. Shout out to T. Peterson. He says, this nut Keisha needs to go back to the loony bin. I, I'm trying to tell y'all. We need to reopen the loony bin. Yes. And Gang Glot says, I can't wait to take the slavery throat dominatrix rapper salad uh, munching <laughs> com comedian to the corporate Christmas party. <laughs> Whoa, hey, game like you joking and playing. She gonna get you that uh raise when she take your boss, when she take the boss into the linen closet and show what that throat do. 
<laughs> oh, here we go, man. Yeah, this is all bad. We're going to get back into it here. Um, I see MK come through. He says, at least he doesn't have a horse tail on his head. <laughs> okay. So here we go, man. Brother Hook Strange. Sister. Yes. Oh, you are. I'm so serious. Okay, so you want Jimmy Butler, the multi-millionaire basketball player? I no, I like him. I like him because he's like a free, like four, like even four from Black Ink. Like I like oh, Mendes. I know like, four. You know, I know four in real life. I know I, Jimmy I, Butler I like too, but I really know four. Like four is my friend. I like him too. I like men that are like that's not afraid to be them and be free spirited and not. You get what I'm saying? Like. I like men like that. You like men like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's do the Kendra cam real quick. Oh my God. Um, I ain't got no bottoms on. I mean, I got on bottoms, but I ain't got no clothes. They ain't never got no quick. bottoms on. So you, oh, oh Damn. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I got my, like my panties in my bra. Wait. I got my stomach girl, in my panties. Girl, girl. What? <laughs> hey. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh. Oh my! Here to the now, to the now, now, now. Here to the now. Hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for it, man. Um. Here for it. They got to do what they got to do. Listen here. Beyonce's internet is the easiest way to advertise some kudakata. The best way you can. And this, this, this bussy eating throat goat and munching thing here. She like, look, I'm giving y'all what I got. I'm going to go ahead and pop up on this Kendra cam with this guy dang going uh, rainbow. Uh, underwear set on, and y'all about to eat this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, she got to go talk to Dime real quick. Hold on, because she's doing too much. See, he'll, he'll show you just a tad bit of his grace and his mercy, but I'll also allow the enemy to give you just a little bit of rope to hang your stupid ass motherfucking self. Yeah, just a little bit. That's all it takes. Give you a, just a little bit to hang your goddamn self. So if you like to be the motherfucking hang man, by all means, do that. Ain't nobody trying to stop you. Do what you do. See, because in the end, guess what? Ain't nobody else got to pay for your motherfucking mistakes but you. Hey. Uh, Hell. Get him, Dime. She got to pay for this. She want to act like this? She going to have to deal with all her kids. Somebody got to eat this. Look this at that. Terrible. Look at your mama. Seriously, God bless them kids, man. But look, look, y'all know how the kids gonna be talking bad. These kids is more cutthroat than y'all than this chat. And you know, look at your mama up on Kendra. Look at your look at her. They're gonna be holding the, look at your mama. Look at her. <laughs> to say it. Here we go, man. All right. Where we at? Shout out to Chaotic Minds for joining the channel membership. You just in time. <laughs> oh, here we go. Cook, sister. Kendra, look. Kendra about to be pissed. Oh. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm at home. I got my stomach in my panties. And what? I'm sorry. I'm not naked. Instagram. I got on bottoms. I got on the panties and bras. You know, I got a food for so my stomach inside my panties. And um, yeah. Wait, are you going to keep up my show in a diaper? <laughs> was that true? I was on my period. I was on my period. So you were so okay, I think I'm remembering now. So were you the girl that was on my show in a diaper before? Yes, I I was on my show. You see what I'm saying? So she'd have been up here in a diaper because she was on menstruating. All right. She'd have been up here talking about eating man box. She'd have been up here acting wild tonight. Shame. 
has left the room never to come back. Ever. Yeah, ever. It is. They walk amongst us. They walk and they, not only do they walk amongst us, they walk and they breed amongst us. See what I'm saying? That's because they unchecked. This is serious now, all right? See, they they walking and they're breeding amongst us. That's a problem. Why? How are they able to breed? Because they're going unchecked. No one's stamping them. You know, back in the day, you know, like the scarlet letter, an S for shame, an A for adulterer, you know? And how about a, a freaking big red C for crazy? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shout out to Project Leroy. Says, fellas, she's playing with the rose again. <laughs> Man, why you want to do that, Project Leroy? <laughs> this is a prime specimen, too, right here. Yes, it this is. sister, she locked in the house on them cold, lonely nights. Y'all know what it is. Where she at? Yeah. <laughs> there she go, Project Leroy. <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, man, this stuff will poison your mind. Look at her face. She like I kind of think numb. <laughs> oh, here we go. The latest drop with my girl. Uh here we go. Shout out to Eric Jordan. Straight pound town. Yes. 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 Sick. Yes. Oh yeah, she she like a she become a pound town legend. She will live and perish in pound town. Uh, she gonna call that place home. <laughs> the problem with chicks like her, they out here, um, they on that peen juice. What my girl? Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now <laughs> truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. What she said? Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. All right, one more time, fool. <laughs> because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. All right. <laughs> oh, y'all crazy. Y'all got to get off the penis juice. She she stuck on the penis juice, and that's her problem. Look at her. That's what it looked like. Penis juice. Oh. This is sick. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I tried to tell you I didn't want to do this because I was here before. I just wanted to let you know that they got to love and stuff. I was just right. He's that. texting me now. Yeah. Um, tell him Halo told me. I was, tell him Tom Halo told me. Halo, Halo and her drawers told me. <laughs> tell him, tell him Halo told you. Okay, I'm gonna tell him. All right, I'm, I am trying to understand why he can't. Can you, can, it, can, you, can you tell Jimmy Butler I like him? Girl, get your ass on now. Let me tell you something. I don't live. Yeah. Uh, so, how about this? If you I, can't ever. I, I can't have a love story like that. So, I ain't worthy of having a love story like that because I, I got two kids. I didn't say anything about your two kids. You, you, I'm saying that. I'm not worried. I, so, all right, so boom. What if he did date me? And then, and then we met because he see this. Like, would you want to know the story? Sure. I mean, sure. Are you want to live in fantasy land together? I want to play make believe together. Like, that's going to really happen. Why do you think that can't happen? I've dated has basketball that- players before. Okay. Well, has it happened yet? You know what? Have you? I mean, have you met him yet? No. Okay. He in Miami. Huh? He in Miami. I'm not out there. Okay. Well, take a flight to Miami and go meet him and see how it works. I mean, you can prove me wrong. I mean, you know, your life is going to be the example of you're going to take. I mean, I don't believe it to be true, but who am I? So prove me wrong. Go to Miami, meet him, and then come back. Oh my. Why would you what? do that? What? I love them for your hair. Jimmy Butler, your wife is on my show waiting for you. Jimmy Butler, <laughs> your wife, your wife right now is on my show. Your future wife. No.
Her daughter snatched that damn wig off. Oh. You was what? I got alopecia, so my hair just falls out of You're still pretty. Thank Put you. your hair back on. Thank You're beautiful. You. Thank you. Alopecia? Bitch, where is your hair? That is not alopecia. You've been wearing the wigs too motherfucking long, NJ. Oh. oh. Shame. 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 Crazy. Back in the day, they used to have to they used to have to yell out what they were guilty of, you know. So she would walk around saying, "Crazy, crazy as hell, bat shit crazy." So you would know that would be her punishment. She would have to walk around saying what was wrong with her, you know. Crazy. So you would stay away. Oh my God! Here we go. Shout out to my guy Squeegee Kid. <laughs> Come through money, 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 money. He says tonight was a stats overload. <laughs> yeah, oh, boom, shaka -laka. yeah. <laughs> oh, squeezy kid. I can you only imagine. Your, I can only you, imagine. Squeezy. You be having your work cut out for you, man. Yeah, it's just it's too much. It's too much. Too much madness. Not enough shame. Here we go. <laughs> go, your, go. Here's your wife, Jimmy Butler. Here she is. Yeah, when you go to Miami and you run into Jimmy, call me back, okay? Oh my God. Ooh. All right, bye, 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 baby. Okay, hold on, let me try. There you go. We about to pull this IG up. That, it ain't over. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, Kendra don't even be, she like, okay, bye, baby. You, you wild as the day is long, bye. Kendra halfway unscathed. She got her green card bait, keeping her occupied. She's like, y'all can't drive me crazy tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to uh, go to Glaze City. Y'all ain't about to ruin this. All right, I'm about to get these buns, Glaze. How, how crazy could the IG of a bussy eating throat goat be? Here's the deal. She got two IGs. So here's how we're going to do this. She got two IGs, all right? And they're different in, in content, if you will. All right? I know. It's double the madness. They're different in content. So we go where we at. Actually, holy hell, she got three IGs. She got three Instagrams. Oh, for obvious reasons, I could imagine. Oh my gosh, she's so wild on here. Some of the stuff we can't show. I don't even know how it's on Instagram. It's explicit. All right. This is wild. I'm, I'm afraid. Um, here we go. Make sure y'all support the channel. Support the show. All yeah. right, we at risk bringing this woman up. We at risk. Yeah. Show some love. We 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 walking over minefields here. Ratchet IG minefields. Here we go. So I'm gonna pull this up. I'll start with the first one. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'll start with uh I don't want to do it. Here we go. Uh but I'm gonna tell you because I love black men so much. Stop wasting your time with black women. Stop. They not loving you. They not listening. They not willing to submit. They think they too independent to be submissive and be equal and be a companion and be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. She's going to get money, have good credit, come with a house and, and land and, and still be submissive. Go get you a white woman. Still be submissive. Sure is. They still going to submit and still treat you and love your dirty jaws. Love you on your sweaty gets. Oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. I'm the good doctor. I'm trying to learn how to golf. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't y'all dare. Don't listen to her. Mr. Holy hell. She, I ain't see that coming. Yeah, me either. What's she doing? She capping. 
That ain't her. That is not a genuine sentiment from her. She capping. Oh, here we go. You see what I'm saying? She wow. Time that I take the time to appreciate my Ooh. love. Ones. You guys are always in my comments. You're always. I only wash my legs like once a year. Um. And it's usually on my birthday, but my birthday just passed and I feel What? I put my stomach on What? What in the Oh my goodness. I'm going hard. I'm talking about full throttle. Oh, here go that banana. Are you ready? Damn, son, where'd you find this? God damn. Hell to the now. To the now, now, now. Hell to the now. Oh, my God. She wasn't bull jiving. She just sucked up. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Boom, oh, my God. We about to end the show. I don't think YouTube going to be picked too kindly to that, people. We apologize, YouTube. We apologize. This is this is everything I thought it would be. She greases herself up in the bathroom and starts gyrating all funky. She up here throat going bananas with with chains and whips on. Par for the how core. The, how she get the meat out? How she get that up out of there? I mean, you worried about how she get that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh good. Say her throat is deeper than slavery. Man, no lies detected. Huh? I'm, I'm, huh? Not, giving, I'm not giving her she, that. Did she clean that banana? Was it sanitized first? Don't tell me that's a banana everybody was touching in the store. She just brought it home, shoved it down her throat. You see, ain't nothing in that house sanitized. Nothing. This is terrible. Nothing. <laughs> Holy cow. I we can't. speechless. We speechless, y'all. What y'all want? What more y'all want? Huh? Have, can we just agree on one thing? That's all. That's all I want to get. I want us all to be able to agree on one thing before this is over. Can we agree that winter is here? That's all. That's all. Can we all agree that this is that's what this is? What we are seeing is winter playing out. All right. We got ladies name. Her name is Halo. But her nick her her name is Halo, but her nickname is Throat Deeper Than Slavery. She like eating bussy and whole bananas. Winter is here. It's here. It's cold outside. Here we go. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Oh, this is her. She's a comedian. You know, this one says every day should be Friday. I have a question. Should I start a, a OF? So, yeah, uh, a, fan, uh, a fan, one of them fan deals. This is her. So she like doing skits on the street. Like this is said, Mucho, I'm telling you. Right. Y'all, this is a young Mucho. I promise you. She just throwing stuff at the wall. This is buffoonery. This is it's just Mucho. You see, I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all. This is side. Mucho. Thirty years. Ago. I'm telling you, where this woman gonna be in her fifties and sixties, acting like Mucho, just like her? She gonna mess around and miss a tooth, and then it's full fledged Mucho. Hi guys, I will be. I never worked oh, down. Uh -huh. You all come on, church. Let them know it's our church. What the finuck is that? 
I'm afraid to keep going down. All right. Uh, I think it was something else here. <laughs> so, uh, probably not. I could have sworn there was another crazy video in here somewhere. She was doing something absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure. I'm but sure it's in there. Might be this video. It might be tripping. Got to bang her hands. Look at that gut, that rude ass stomach. It's rude and uh and unruly. My American raised my waist in only two eight days. So basically, what you would do is take the cat every time. What the? What's she doing? What the? Oh! Oh! Oh God! Hey! Oh. God! Hey! God! Hey! Bruh. He said she trying to show people how to lose weight in 28 days. She, uh, what we doing? She, she rubbed ketchup on her flesh. Yes. And about to and about to saran wrap it and then put on the waist trainer and let the let the juices marinate. Oh my it's god! It's a damn meatloaf. Oh, holy hell! It's the human meatloaf. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. Squeegee kid, where you at? We got. Listen, we got both Queen's baby mamas and meatloafs up here today, dog. Where oh, you where you pen and paper? Meatloaf. This is crazy. She got the music playing, so niggas wanna fuck with our feelings, but I feel though. Her boob about to fall out. This is terrible. She wants to be famous. Fame is a hell of a drug, man. Shout out to Theo. Like you said, he might got followers. She just looking for some type of fame. I don't even know if she want the fortune. She just want the fame. So that was it. She come up with this ignorant ass gut and rub ketchup on it. Holy. Yeah, they're like you, you, you hitting the nail right on the head. This is future mucho. I don't know too many people, too many wild women acting crazy like this. She rubbing ketchup on her stomach that's some stinking nasty shish there man oh Ooh, we mm -mm. uh, y'all want a good man and you want a good man this and that but you don't know what to do to get a good man you get a good man and you don't want him missing your cars you know how you wake that man up do you know how you wake that man up you wake that man up humming on his boss you be a good girl and you hum on the bus the nuts are very in person. Very, very in person. Very, 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 very in person. It's a personal thing. It's an important thing. You want to wake that man up. You want him to go nuts. You hum on them nuts. You be his favorite person. You know how many times a man see a bird in a day? Don't you want him to think of you like a bird every time you see a What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is smooth, Joe. Y'all think I'm kidding, man. Y'all play if y'all won't. She said, you need to be a bird to your man. Every time you see a bird, he need to think about you humming on his balls. <laughs> I see some more ketchup. I see ketchup. Okay, guys. So I've been having this problem with my vagina. I got it. Okay, guys. So okay. I've been having this problem with my vagina. Mm. I got it. Okay, guys. All right. It's a full video somewhere else. She about to put ketchup on her cuda cotta. Oh, bone Keisha. So yeah. Uh, yeah, she's a buffoon. Yeah. I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm going to yeah. log off of here. <laughs> so, I've been having this problem with my vagina. I got a little older. I got a little older. I got a little older. Got a little older. Yes. So what I do is I take some ketchup and I put it on the tampon. Oh, that's for me. And I swirl it around there. Right, Hold on. and bruh, 
God. <clears throat> okay. And um, when you put the ketchup inside of there, it helps with the smell because just like when a person gets sprayed by a skunk, they wash up in tomato juice and it help with the skunk spray. This will help with your vagina. It's like a plug it in. Thank me later. Holy hell. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? What y'all want? Huh? Y'all won't. Huh? <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Deep, deep into the winter time. You know, we got to stop. We got to stop asking ourselves how dark can these streets get? We got to stop asking that question. How dark can it get? How crazier can it get? How more, how much more mad can it get? Because guess what? Bonquisha says, my ignorance, my buffoonery has no bounds. Why you want to ask that? Deserve to have two bitches. I'm the type to pull up with Adam. She don't like the hot dog. I know she is. I know. <laughs> All eyes on me. I demand my respect. He got that throat, that golden throat. Let me run. This bitch is on the run. After you eat it, spit in my mouth, lick in my ass, and have some fun. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. She, what y'all want? Y'all want her up on the platform? Do y'all want to do this? It's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. The ball in y'all court. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's all bad I'm over it all right the hell what see the? this is why I don't mess with y'all y'all be all in the comments and in the DMs what? talking something do it with a cucumber a banana is soft a cucumber is hard you got to do it with a cucumber did it with a cucumber and look what's in my hand half of the cucumber the other half is in my freaking throat yes Link in the bio. Go watch this stupid video that I almost lost my life over. <laughs> Look at uh, her. <laughs> so she out in public like this. She's somebody's projects. I mean, this is it. This is it. I'm over it. All right, we're going to move off of this. I'm just letting you guys know that I am taking a social media break. So if you would like to hit me up for like promo, story promo, and things of that nature, I will be like available to do that for you. I will be available to um, promo your business, your songs, and stuff like that. Posting it on my story, probably on my page. Just DM me and let me know if you are interested in getting either or because I just, I'm just. You got that ignorant ass gut. It's just most ignorant, man. Most ignorant, rude, and obnoxious, <laughs> man. So <laughs> with this damn struggle, struggle uh, sweatsuit on. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, Ace Gates, Ohio, hold this L. Shout out Ooh. to my girl, uh, Pick Meek. Pick Meek, she from Cleveland, Ohio, Pick Meek. You got to eat this one. Pick, Pick Meek said it. Pick Meek said, she said, I'm from the one of the worst places where single women breed. She said that. And here we go. We seen it, Pick Meek. We agree with you. <laughs> Observe, exhibit A. So here we go. I know y'all was cooking that whole time. My my chats went out on my end. I'm not yes, sure about same. Yeah, I can't see the chat there. I see. I see. Project Leroy came through. He said something about water break right now. 
All right. And what else we got? I see y'all was on one. Ace Skates come through, been a member for a month. He says she got a bussy grocery eating fat stuff. <laughs> All right. And Squeegee Kid come through. He says, how do I record ketchup stats? Man. Yeah. 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 Tread lightly with that one, man. That's nasty. And she got a man belly, Squeegee Kid. Whole man gut. Shout out to my guy, a real Leo. He says she graduated from the Marcus Garvey FDMG Academy. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Dr. Umar over there. Uh, Dr. Umar take her in for show. So here we go. Um, her um throat go, go meet the bioluminescent creatures. Holy Holy hurry and hurry. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. Mm. So there we go. We made it. We made it. Hoo we. Holy cow. They got to stop. Mm. They got to stop being such overachievers here with the Kendra Madness. They overachieving. Week after week, <laughs> Thursday after Sunday after Tuesday, I can't help but wonder how can they move this bar? How can they push the envelope? Well, now we done bought ketchup out into the mix. Ketchup and all types of gadgets and gadgets. We just we just shoving things and eating eating stuff. <laughs> all that. So this was bad. We made it through, though. I'm exhausted after that. That was, that was a lot. That was a lot. It was. A, it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot. Not a lot of contestants, but the madness was overflowing. Yeah, this was completely mad tonight. I mean, yeah, completely. It's the dating market. At the end of the day, it's the dating market. All we doing is observing the the sexual dating market. Via via uh Kendrick contestants, but it is the dating market nonetheless. Y'all gotta eat this, gotta make a deal with these hyenas. Hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> and they all coming up here drunk. What they sipping on? Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. All right, that penis juice got him. Right. That 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 uh that bright sister. The one, the one, uh, scissor and timber chick that everybody like the scientist. She sound like she subscribed to uh to, to that to the uh penis juice lady. Yeah, that knocked her upside her head. And then she done <laughs> jumped to the other side now. So <laughs> still be careful. That penis juice strong, ladies. Man. All right, man. This took everything tonight. I ain't gonna hold y'all. This was. Woo. We appreciate y'all for being here. Shout out to everybody who supported the show tonight. Shout out to Chai Media, Danny Nicole, Theo Coop, Eric Jordan. Everybody came through sponsored the show tonight. Yes. yes. I see uh, Geraldo Brown just sent the last minute uh, $10. Uh, was that Super Chat? Thank okay. You. Geraldo Brown come through, says money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. We appreciate you, brother, for the super chat. Yeah, this was wild. Uh, I'm looking in the chat now on my phone here. We done something going on yeah. on our street. Y'all yard. done, yeah, shoot. She done, she done, uh, she done threw a wrench in our operation with that IG madness. StreamYard said, whoa, what is that greased up goddamn penguin on there? She, that's nasty. She was greased up in that bathroom, gyrating. How was that not attractive? How are you a woman and you gyrating all shined up and it's not appealing? How does that come off gross? How? Seriously. You, uh, so that was it, people. 
That was it. All right. <laughs> that was it. I mean, come on. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Is this not why you are here? So here we go. Shout out to the chat. What's today? Thursday. We will be back here Saturday for the Regal Rumble. <laughs> Regal Rumble in the house. Watch your mouth. Woo! Going down. <laughs> the Regal Rumble, baby. My my new uh, favorite uh, pastime on Saturday. We rumbling, baby. We moving, uh-huh. man. And we rumbling, uh-huh. baby. <laughs> oh, my. So there you go. The Regal Rumble is here this Saturday night. Make sure you are subscribed to the Cart Before the Horse channel. I'm going to take a second here and drop the link in the chat. Make sure you are subscribed to both channels. That is where all the content lives. So go over there, check out the previous live streams, all the video uploads. Go over there, check everything out. We'll be back up here Saturday. My man Stan G supposed to be coming through. All right. Oh, my. We got, we got a couple ladies coming up. We're going to drop the link for the fellas and, and ladies. We want more of y'all ladies to come up on the show. Man, the more ladies, the better. Come on. Y'all be talking mess until Saturday. Come then y'all be in my It's cool. But yeah, big dog, the real Leo gonna come through. Hopefully, uh, what's the name? What's his name? Uh Kent not Campbell. That the uh that real lively brother. Jack. Uh, you got Jay Papa. We got yeah, whoever, anybody, anybody out there, my man A D. Any of y'all wanna come up? Hit the link when we drop it. We're gonna be cooking. We got a whole show lined up. I can't wait. So here we go. We got some cash out or super chats. Shout out to Double C for the $10 super chat. Says time for the after preaching seating. Money, 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 money. Yes, we appreciate you. And my guy Joe Cornell Nate says, I'm Jimmy Butler tired after that one. Yeah. <laughs> also, G Honda come through with a $10 um, super chat. Says all for 5K and the grill. Thank you, CEO. Thank you. And Brittany Campbell, we appreciate you, Brittany. Brittany hit us with a $10 super sticker. We appreciate that, Brittany. Yes. Money, 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 money. So look, man, this was a wild show tonight. All right. Make sure y'all sharing this content. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Make sure you hit the like button. That's all free, people. There you go. How in the world did we end on that note? I don't know. <laughs> we started off with childless women. And then we wind up with some of the wildest ish we ever put up here. How? Wanna know why? Ah, because winter is here. That's how. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to get out of here tonight. Like I said, shout out to everybody. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy, G Honda, Chubby, my guy, Don Jeter, the big joker. <laughs> All right, Jay Papa, all y'all fellas, we appreciate y'all where we at. Adrian Roberts, uh, my guy Theo Coop, make sure y'all over at the Do Better Podcast in the morning, people. <laughs> this was a while. My guy, Real Leo, we, we hope to see you on Saturday, brother. We're going to be up here cooking. Mrs. Locks to Smile, Gwendolyn, we need the ladies up. Shanika, uh, Mo on the go, where y'all at? Mo on the go. Come on up with y'all bad self. <laughs> talk y'all talk. <laughs> yes. Shout out to my guy, Stevie D, millennial investor. How you feeling, brother? We, uh, Uncle Diggity. I hate my man, Uncle Diggity. I never seen you <laughs> over here, brother. We appreciate it. So, yes. T Peterson, my guy, TP, in the chat, baby. <laughs> Wild night, man. Man. Wild night. I'm bushed. <laughs> yes. So with that being said, we appreciate everybody. Replay game, the whole replay game. My man, PC76, Courtney Love, all y'all. We appreciate every all 5,000 subscribers. Y'all don't understand. This means a lot to me and Mr. Walker. We're going to keep man. cooking for y'all. And I mean, straight like that, man. 5,000 and beyond, baby. Let's get it. Yes, yeah, shout out to my guy, Squeegee Kid. You got your hands full tonight, Squeegee. Got your uh-huh. hands full. Enjoy. Enjoy the madness. Don't forget to catch up. Yes, sir. My guy, Joker Nutty Nate. Oh, man, this is wild, Joker. <laughs>
There we go. With that being said, I am Gavin X. I am Mr. Walker. And we are Cart Before the Horse Productions. Good evening. <laughs>